Okay, we are we are heckin' here. I hope everyone is having a good day. Once again, sorry for the long intro. I will once again blame Instagram. <laughs> oh, dear. It's because I never load it up. I know that once or twice a day, if that, and my phone is not happy about it. And it's like, hey, hey, if you only load me up once or twice a day, I'm gonna load very heckin' slowly. Let me change screens really quickly. There I am, hello. Let me just pop into existence. First of all, a little bit of sad news. The tattoos on my forehead have not really held up. Look at this. The, the, mm, mm, not really there anymore. So, apologies about that. I did my best to preserve them. They were there when I went to the cafe with Shifty yesterday. So at that point they were there. I did cover them with a hat because I didn't want to get on the bus with, with a rabbit and a heart on my forehead. But they were there. Tom, how goes it? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. Uh, it, this is a really cursed stream. Heads up. Um, I'll show you why in a second. Uh, <laughs> we hit a goal yesterday and thus the goal is being enacted today. But um, actually we hit two goals yesterday and so both goals are being enacted today, which means this is a doubly cursed stream. Um, <laughs> but I don't think you can really see it right now. You can see a little bit of it, but you can't really see it. Um, but yeah, we had a we had a rabbit and a heart. The heart really suffered. That poor heart, barely there. And hi, score run, how goes it? I hope you're having a good day. We don't have the all seeing eye. The all seeing eye was last week, and that that's well gone. For some reason, the ones on my face just don't stay as well. I'm gonna say it's because my face is probably oilier than my arms, and so they just don't stick as good. But yeah, they just they just don't stay as well. And I'll also, I clean my face more probably than my arms. <laughs> I give my face a thorough cleaning, and so they just don't stick as good. I mean, I am trying to avoid the tattoos specifically, but I do still probably get some product in there. Yeah, I did my best. I tried. Ah, oh, dear. Right. Do you... <laughs> there's two reasons why today's stream is cursed. One of them is that. The sound alerts turned off again. Like the the uh, the timers on the sound alerts, which means people can spam eggs and parties and such to Kingdom Come. That's reason number one. <laughs> reason number two is that this stream is also a mukbang. <laughs> and here is our mukbang. I don't know how well you can see it. There it is. Here is our mukbang for the stream. This is our our mini cursed mukbang. This is the kind of food that I've been snacking on recently and it's been really off-putting a couple of our mods and so I was like, all right, I'll have it as, as a redeemable thing. Sure, it's been really upsetting a couple of people. I'll put it as a, I'll put it as a reward. And so let me talk you through our, our delicious, our delicious mukbang today, which I'm kind of saying sarcastically, but I actually really like everything here. Um, I see pickles. I tried to lay them out nicely i try to make everything look really pretty uh, and i i'm pretty happy with this layout look at this beautiful layout here delicious delicious um so we have up in up in the corner pickles We've got six pickles this time um which i'll probably dip in and out of the pickles uh we have seed and raisin granola seed raisin granola which i've cut into cubes <laughs> Uh, it's like the chewy one. It's pretty good. I like that a lot. I love raisin stuff. And then we have going into the more meat side of things. A little platter. I will say the chorizo I don't think will upset anyone, but I had it in the fridge and I want to eat it. <laughs> so I've got chorizo. I don't think it's going to upset anyone. If anyone gets upset about that one, I'm sorry. That one's fantastic. I got three boiled eggs because I was worried about the quality of the first two. So I got three. <laughs> And you know what? It split them up very nicely, so none of them touch each other. Yes. So my, my eggs are dividers. Oh uh, dear, hi George, how goes it? I'm just talking you through my, my mini mukbang. And then we have salmon. It's literally just a pile of salmon. I love salmon, so I made a pile of it. Yeah, a little pile of salmon. I seasoned it lightly. But yeah, I honestly, I like the, just the pile of the salmon. Heck yeah, so it's just a pile of salmon. And then on this side, a pile of sardines. Uh, I haven't despined these because it would have been kind of ruined the aesthetics of them. I really wanted to try and keep them whole. Unfortunately, this one lost a little bit of its top. But yeah. I tried to keep them as whole as possible. So we have the two sardines here and here. Yeah. 
<laughs> you and your tam salmon is great. Salmon is hecking great. I absolutely love this. I honestly. This is just a whole piece of salmon cut up into small, cute squares, honestly. Because I will just sit down and eat an entire salmon. Yeah, it's good. I put a little bit of lime and a little bit of pepper on it. Mm, mm. So yeah, it's pretty good. I love it. Uh, and then the eggs, which I, I would ideally have soft boiled, but they might be a little bit more on the hard boiled side because I had a couple of issues with the first couple eggs. Yeah. It's good I took them straight from the fridge. That's my bad. Uh, doing well, thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing heckin' good. Again, I should clarify, I like every food here. I think they're great. <laughs> oh dear. But I've had a lot of complaints about the things I've been eating recently. The only thing that I did buy and I haven't taken up here is curry pizza. Uh, so I have got curry and I have got pizza downstairs. My only misgiving about it is I am struggling a little bit with eating bread at the moment. So what I might do is when I'm doing a little better with my stomach, is we'll do that separately. So we'll do another mukbang in the future and I'll do the curry pizza then. Because because bread's a little difficult to eat for me right now. I haven't really eaten bread for weeks. So I think I might hold off on the bread and, and eat that another time because bread's a little difficult. And, and while pizza is pizza, it's got like a pretty solid bread base. I think I want to stay far away from that right now. Yes, so curry pizza will have to wait. I had a good think about that. I did buy it and then I was like, wait a minute, this might be a bad call. <sighs> but yeah, I love all of these foods. I have pushed one fish straight into another fish. But yeah. These were fantastic. The other thing is I don't have the strongest sense of taste. So like, I don't know. I can happily dip from one food into another quite, ha quite happily. So these are all just here now. And now I just have like a ridiculous amount of food on the desk. 10 out of 10. <laughs> if, if I wasn't so concerned about making a mess of my sewing desk, I would sew like this more often. But no, gherkin pickles. Heck yeah. We used to get the big ones, but they don't sell them near us anymore. So we can only get like the, I don't know if you can see the size of this, the small ones. The good thing about the small ones though, is they, they like spice the, the vinegar that they come in. I don't know if you can see this. This one has like an onion on it, but they put like onions and chilies in the sauce and that's like proper nice. Yeah. So you can kind of taste it in the vinegar. Mm. It's just a nice pickle. I do like the jumbo ones, but I like the, I like the pickling sauce. <laughs> I'd like to merge that. Oh, yeah. I like the big ones, but then, because the big ones get the crunch. I don't know, they just got that nice crunch. And then, but I, will, I love the pickling sauce of these ones. It's just so good. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, it's just a nice mix. I like everything here. I, I like everything here. This is all good, yeah. Mini gherkin pickles. Heck yeah. Do you how goes it? I hope you're having a good day. How are you, Lady Jellyfish? I am very good. I have a platter of food. We're making quite a simple one today because I actually have my parents visiting later. <laughs> and so I need to be ready for them to get here. And so I can't do a really complicated one today. Uh, oh, also update on the, on the Garbador bra. Because I made the, ow, stop. I made the Garbador bra in my size, and so I could try it on after stream. <sighs> the Garbador bra fits really hecking well. The only sad thing is, it's made half with bin bag, which means I can never practically wear this bra. But it fits so goddamn well, I might just take the pattern from it and remake it into an actual bra, because it was so goddamn good. Yeah, sad times, but like also like happy times. It, it's really, really pretty. Um, <laughs> It's like one of the prettier bras I've ever owned. Like the shape of it's really nice. It makes such a nice, especially after the alteration, it makes such a nice little gap here. It doesn't photograph very well, but it wears so pretty. And yeah, I really like it. So um, yeah, I, pff, man, I have to remake it, but that's okay. It's fine. 
Right, yeah, today we're making, sorry, I should tell you what we're doing today. We are doing the Mirror's Edge bra, for which we have actually made some custom fabric. Would you have a look at this? Is it this way up? No, it's this way up. Look at this fabric. So this is face tattoo, which we're going to be putting over one of the cups to kind of like really hammer home what the bra this is meant to be. Yes. Ah. Uh, Shifty be so upset if he sees this. Oh yeah, Shifty will not be happy. I also don't think I'm gonna finish this on stream. I probably have to finish it off stream because I know I'm gonna get distracted and not eat all this. But you know what? This is more about upsetting people than it is about finishing it. <laughs> Will it be sunny today? Or is it usually gray and damp? Or is the usual gray and damp the appeal? Ah. Well, it says it's partially sunny right now, but it's been raining a lot recently. It's it's October. We get a lot of rain coming into the winter. I'm not sure. The stream's title's Brewtober Day 13. What's that? Well, I'm glad you asked, Leo. <laughs> Goes into advertising spiel. Um, so Brewtober is actually a charity event that's happening during October because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So myself, as well as a lot of other streamers, are doing as much as we can to raise money for breast cancer awareness. In particular, Against Breast Cancer is a charity I'm raising money for, as well as a lot of other streamers. Um, Against Breast Cancer is a charity that targets secondary breast cancer, which is when breast cancer spreads from the breast to other parts of the body. And that is when breast cancer gets a lot more dangerous. And they are trying to find a vaccine to prevent that spread, things like that. There's a lot of science that goes into it and they're doing a lot of really good work. Uh, they also do bra recycling, which is why for the entire month of October, we are recycling bras. <laughs> We're taking very old used bras and recycling them. Occasionally, on days like today, we are making bras from scratch. Um, but for the majority of the month, we're actually recycling them. Yeah. And that is Booptober. Uh, other streamers are doing other things. Some are playing games and raising money. Some are doing music and playing money. Some are doing VTV shenanigans and raising money. There is like... And then there's a lot of other crafts as well and raising money, but Booptober is the charity event, yes, that encompasses everything we're doing to raise as much money and awareness for breast cancer and breast cancer research. Yes. It's a, it's a big old charity thing. Yeah. And Booptober because it's boobs in October. Heck yeah. Hmm. All I know is game streamers were Spooktober. Yeah, well that would be like Spooky October, right? Booptober is Booby October. <laughs> See, that's pretty nice. Heck yeah, heck yeah. And again, it's not just me doing this. It's it's quite a few streamers. I mean, I got... So basically, originally I said, uh, I'm going to do Bob... Bob... Bobtober. Booptober this year. I really want to do it. It's something that I'm very passionate about and I, I, I want to take part. And a couple of other streamers popped into my, my chat and were like, if you're doing it, would you mind, would you mind just sending me some stuff so that I can take part as well? And I was like, what? I mean, yeah, yeah, I can do that. If, if, you, if you're sure, it's a whole month. Are you sure? Like, that's a bit of a commitment. But like, yeah, yeah, if you want to pop in and do a stream or something too, like, that's sure, whatever. And now it's ended up into this big thing where lo loads of streamers are taking part. We still have people jumping on board even now to take part. And it's actually crazy, the amount of support. It's been fantastic. It was originally just gonna be me on my lonesome. <laughs> right, there we go. Right, I have made this pattern based on my sizes, but also brands that I already own. So, it works pretty well because it's kind of like a very small amount of this, so I can make others if I wanted to, or I could also make the pants later on. But again, I wanted to do quite a simple one today so it doesn't take so long comparatively, so it will be a shorter stream, but. I'm, I'm technically celebrating my birthday later. Now, it's not my birthday today. But, as we all know, on my birthday I'm streaming. Because I'm still doing Booptober. <laughs> so, um, my family have decided to visit today. Which is fair enough. Um, I'm actually celebrating my birthday several times, I think, this month. I feel like the queen. <laughs> well, I've got my, my actual birthday, my official birthday, my private birthday, an extra birthday over here. I, I do feel quite royal this, this month. <laughs> I've got several birthdays. Hey, happy birthday, thank you. <laughs> it's actually not my birthday for two weeks, but I appreciate it. Um, 
it's just one of those things, isn't it? Where it's like, on my actual birthday, I've got a lot going on where I'm doing a Boobtober stream uh, and then I've got some stuff going on in the morning and then I'm going and celebrating in the afternoon. And so my family were like, well, we'll visit another day. That's probably easier for us too. And I was like, that's easier for me as well. We'll come celebrate another day. And then other people were like, can we come celebrate this day? And I was like, yeah, we could do that. And then <laughs> it just adds up. It's quite nice though, it's quite nice. Starts a day till the actual day and afterwards too. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it's every day. I actually uh, started as well because um, because I had to do some shopping for my birthday because some people gave me the gift of like fabric for this event for my birthday. I did that shopping back in September. My main birthday gift I bought months ago. <laughs> no, August. Ages ago. Mm. So yeah, my main birthday gift I bought ages ago. You're a royal je crafty jellyfish. I say just mmm. And queen. Queen. Oh. Spine. Right. Let's start cutting some things out. Getting it done. Yeah. Here's our design. I will say, I couldn't get any red elastic. I don't know why, all of the red elastic was sold out everywhere I was looking, so we will be using black elastic unfortunately. There was just no red elastic anywhere. Not sure why, but we've got it that on one cup we will have the faith fabric and on one cup we'll have black mesh. That's how it's going and we'll do the same thing on the back, we'll be white on one side and then, oh sorry, uh, we'll have the faith fabric on one side and the uh, black on the other and then we'll actually line the faith fabric with white fabric so that we don't have the double faith fabric mesh thingy looking a bit messy oh thank you for the horn oh dear i'm surprised you didn't go for the 10 horns in a row zay oh. food sober month you're basically eating sushi without the rice and soy sauce yeah i'm just eating fish <laughs> An egg. Oh, and also granola. Uh. Oh. Who done that? Who could it be? Ah, so tasty. There we go. So this is like a pattern that I've made. I want to get it right. Oh, something on the desk there. What is it? Oh, it's this. I need to shape that down. Ah. Uh, ah, oh dear. Granola, what's that? It's like a oats with, in this case, it's got nuts and um, seeds and raisins in it. Some people don't like it. <laughs> I like it though. Go. Okay, let's pin this. Oh, uh, there's no cooldown, so you can party a whole lot. Foolishly spent my points on a party, so no points for 10. Oh. Zay got drunk on points and, and did a big party. Oh no. Oh no, Zay. How did this happen? I put my cup on, on some thread that's attached to this. Heck. Pies are so good. So candy, that's nuts. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's kind of like a, a biscuity candy kind of thing. It's pretty good. I like it. Close to flapjack. People don't like it though. But I like it. I think it's good.
For some reason, granola rubs people the wrong way. <laughs> I'm not sure why. <laughs> We've done like many stuff. This is true. Most of the food that I have here, I would say bar the chorizo and the eggs, which I think more people are a bit more open to. The, the things on this plate are a bit diverse. <laughs> At least over here. Oh, that's why I picked them. I picked them because I knew people were going to be a bit like... Uh. Right. Do, 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 do. Right. You big old thing of fabric. I need this too, please. I used to eat granola bars during my breaks at work. I don't see an issue with them. No, neither do I. I think it's because, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the issue with it is. I think it's the raisins. Yeah. Mm. Oh. I think it's lovely. It's not overly sweet. There's still like a little bit of sweetness from it. I think it's lovely. Yeah, I think it's great. Mmm. <laughs> but then I don't see an issue of any of the things here. I can like tell you the positives of every single thing I'm eating here. And, and yeah. But like if you don't like something, you don't like it, right? Like sardine. Like. Although the smell is very fishy, the taste is like not fishy at all, I don't think. Like, the taste of the sardines, especially the ones soaked in oil. Like, it's not like a traditional fishiness. It's like, um, I don't know, like, it always feels like it has a smokiness to it. It's, it's like a really unique taste. It doesn't taste like it smells, that's for sure. I think there's there's some getting over the fact that it actually just looks like a fish that you just like peel away and eat. But it's like a nice like flake, it like just immediately flakes and disintegrates. Which is like, it's like really good texture. And then there's like this almost like smokiness to it. Like, a smokiness with like a slight, like, with like the oil that it's in. It's, it's so good. Yeah, it's really nice. I don't know. It doesn't have like the same fishiness as like, like a smoked haddock or something like that. Like something like a more fresh fish. It's, it's very different. I don't know. Mmm. I think it's very good. We don't have links here. I'm sorry. We don't have links. Apologies. Just so good. Oh, that's the swine. Oh, and hi Shane, how good? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. What I walked into, salmon. <laughs> I read how good is it? Salmon, sardines, pickles, eggs, granola, and sausage. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it's just. It's just really good. And then the salmon, the salmon is more fishy. Wow. Sure. Check you for the heck party, Rambo. How goes it? Wow. Wow. But it's got like that like, nice texture. Where it just like, again, like falls apart. Like, like and that's really smoky, because that smoke sound. Like, like that's proper smoky. Like and then I put like a bit of lime and pepper on it. So it's almost like got like a, a very meaty, smoky taste. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Mm. Wow. I just got home from work, foggy as hell, so look. So it took longer than I liked. Oh, heck. What are you eating? So look at what Steve will just wrote. All of that. What Steve will just wrote. Steve will just wrote it all out. 
<laughs> Got uh, home to my coding book that I bought and it's pretty big. All in one? Uh, not in one bite, but yeah, all of that. I got them all here. <laughs> oh dear. That should last longer. <laughs> it's difficult because the sound alerts have some like uh, limitations on them, unfortunately. Yeah. We got it pretty long though. We got the good bits, I'd say. Yeah, this is the salmon. It's like a smoked salmon and I put some seasoning on it, but it, with the seasoning especially, it's really good. But I do like it on its own too. With the seasoning, it's proper good. Mmm. I'd say all of the meats we have here have like a slight smokiness to them. That's probably why they complement each other. And then you have like the pickle, which is got, uh, the vinegar has like, um, chilies and onions in it. So it's not just like a vinegary pickle. You can also taste chilies and onions in it. It's fantastic. And I think pickles go really well with smoked things, right? So smokiness from the, the sardines, the, the, the salmon and the chorizo, it all goes really, really well with the pickles. Mm. Plus these are really good pickles. Smoked salmon is the best. It's one of those smoke. Is it one of those smoked ones with peppercorns on it and other seasonings? Best heck ever. And you guys are doing wonderful today. Just came in by recommendations. Oh, Dane, thank you. We've barely done anything. I've just been talking about food, but I appreciate it. Oh dear. I've put pepper and lime on it today. But sometimes I will just do salt and pepper. But yeah, pepper and lime today. That's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling pepper lime. I'm allergic to fish and don't like vinegar taste. So this is not, but this is your worst nightmare. <laughs> Welcome to a nightmare meal for you where it's gonna make you sick and sick. Ah, uh, I don't have enough. Yeah, same here. I have, oh no. You guys, I'm so sorry. You were partied out. It's all right. What will probably happen later is we'll have some of the big guns come in. Oh dear. I hear smoked salmon. I gotta join the convo as a Scandinavian. Pepper and lime is so much the way to go. Same for smoked eel. See, smoked eel, I've not had the chance to try. Eel is one of those things that we, I really don't see in the supermarkets here in the UK very often. I've had eel once or twice, but I've never had it smoked. I'd probably like it, to be honest. But I'm a big fan of smoked and pickled fish. I like strong taste. <laughs> Anything with a good strong taste, I'm like, I can taste this, I like it, yes. More, more. But I, again, I think that's why I like pickles and smoked things. Ah, oh, dear. I don't know why I'm giving these quite such big uh, borders, but... <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yes, we, I'll have to trim all these later, but that's fine. I'll just give myself some extra work for now. Me later definitely won't regret this. That's fine. I also made a cup of tea to go with my food, which I will say was probably not the best call. As much as I do like cups of tea, cups of tea with pickles is a bit weird. Because it's like a milk with pickles. That's not quite my cup of tea. There you go. Right. There we go. Uh, people with a lot of points, but they feel they remember last time where there was like 10 parties in a row. Walks in with big guns. Oh no. Oh no. Not that kind of gun. Not that kind of gun. The party never ends. One cannibal says, oh, I know what this is going to be. I really don't care. Oh, sorry. They, the teal, do you know what happened? Teal, they thought you were calling a mackerel fatty and they were like, how dare you insult the mackerel like that? That's rude, you can't do that, allow. <laughs> uh, the one cannibal says to the other, I don't care much for your wife. And the other said, that's okay, just eat the potato. Oh, for God's sakes. Eel is amazingly fatty, so you ready with the anti-acid tablet after you eat it? Oh, okay. 
Smoked eel is the best. It becomes sort of juicy and oily. If you like smoked fish, you'd love smoked eel. It's mild and tastes juicy, but when it gets smoked, it gathers up a lot more flavor. Okay, and gathers the oil. Ooh, that sounds really good. It's a bit too fatty for me personally, but salmon or mackerel is good. <laughs> Body shaming the smoked eel, yeah. <laughs> It was like, how dare you? You can't do that. I had to just permit the term mackerel as well, by the way. So we now have permitted term mackerel in the in the mod logs. I didn't know that was ever gonna be a banned term, Twitch. Ah, <laughs> uh, Techno, how goes it? I hope you're having a good day. Thank you. What's up? Bar looks like it can be right up my alley with the colors. Yeah, it's mainly just gonna be black and white. Um, oh dear. A nice little black and white with some with some custom fabric so it looks a little bit more detailed. And it's going to be a bralette, so we're going to have an underband, but um, not, not any wires. Because the character's like, feels more a little bit sportish and less like... That kind of, more that kind of feel. So I wanted to go like down that kind of route for the design. So we decided to go more bralette-ish style. But it'd still be pretty, but it wasn't like a uh, overtly bra -y. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Oh. You guys don't eat horseradish cream with smoked fish over there in the West? I don't really eat. I, I eat. I eat horseradish and horseradish cream, but not not often with fish. Then again, I don't eat it so often anymore because I don't live with anyone that likes horseradish, so I don't have it very often. Ah, uh, put. Yeah, I know. Put for misogyny. Put for hecking misogyny. I think everyone had to do that. It was a pain. I don't know, but man, I had I had to sort mackerel. Ah, uh, the often is hit with a missed thing. People do it, but some don't, and yet yeah, it's no, it's common. Uh, mackerel. Oh, okay. Usually smoked eel is eaten with pickled sweet onion or horseradish on rye bread. Oh, sick. Also, Kate, how goes it? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. We are doing a very cursed mukbang, and we are making a safe from Mirror's Edge bra. I actually now need to cut out some of the corresponding pieces, but I'm going to do the white first, and then we're going to do the black, which we'll do a bit quicker because the black is two pieces at once. And then we can start looking at getting all these together. Because we don't need to do all, unless... Would I like to do this bit now? Maybe I would, while this is still attached. So there is a dart in here. Yes. <laughs> a little dart, which might be useful. We could... Okay, okay, the rest of you is gonna be in the way. I will move you. <laughs> you will get moved. About there. I'm gonna... I wonder if I can chalk that in. I don't tend to like chalking it in. But it might be useful in this particular case. So there's a little dart there. I say chalk it in. I don't want to use my chalk. I'm gonna use pencil. The thing is, it's on mesh. Which is notorious difficult. I think it's some of it though. I can probably, at the very least, because like you can't see anything you do on mesh, really. I think I can see it just a little bit. Sorry, you guys probably will not see it on the camera, but if I can see it just a little bit, which I can, I can at least get it. It's about there. Okay. It's not very big. It's just a tiny, tiny dart here <laughs> that needs to go in. Oh, there's my other pin. There it is. Yeah, mesh is really hard to draw onto, but that's okay. Right there. Would make sense, I think. Oh, that looks a bit high. How'd you get so high up? Oh, whatever. <laughs> you know what? You're on. That's fine. And basically just makes it a little bit more curved. <laughs> I'll just make sure I do the others at the same place and I think it'll be fine. Oh dear. May I ask if the lady you made the previous bra for liked it? 
Techno, I'm not making them for specific people, Techno. They're all getting donated to charity at once. They're all behind me. <laughs> Techno, they're all here. <laughs> I think I've answered this before. Um, so Techno, just to confirm with you, every single one of these is going to go in a bra bank bin. They're not going to be seen by the people. I'm not going to see the people they get donated to because they're going to be they're going to be taken apart for pieces. So what's going to happen is the bras themselves are not going to get donated to a specific person. What's going to happen is they're going to get taken apart for parts similar to what I did. So they're going to get reused in exactly the same way as what I've done to these bras. So they're going to have the wires taken out. They're going to have the um, clasps taken out. They're going to have the backs taken out. Yes. And then they're going to be remade into bras. What's not going to happen is this bra is not going to get given to somebody else. It's that that's not safe. Yes. Oh dear. Yeah. So just as a heads up, these bras are not getting given to people. They're going to be scrapped for parts by a charity that knows what to do with them. Yes. Sorry, I don't want there to be that misinformation out there like I'm giving them to people. I'm not giving them to people. That wouldn't be safe. <laughs> oh dear. I don't even get any money for all. Oh, there's too much hate for skin. I use few stitches on mesh, find it easy to see. That's a good that's a good tip actually. Also, Kate, thank you for the follow. Oh, whenever you feel like it, I'll serve up some mead and good cats. <laughs> Still another yearly event of Swedes trying to push skin off onto Denmark. <laughs> I was crying about how I want skin back. Hey, where's your mailbox located? We still miss you, Skate People, naturally. Oh, that's all right, Techno. Don't worry about it. Oh, dear. I'll pay $1 million for those bras. No. <laughs> They're not worth that much. We hijacked a stream to talk about Sweden days. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I was like, wait a minute. What is Skate? <laughs> What's happening here? Ah. Uh, dearie me. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. I've got food to eat. <laughs> There we go. I think that was the one thing I needed to put in on that one though. And then I can just move on and do the rest of them, which I will do to be fair, because I'll probably stitch all the darts at once. That way I can make sure they're all in the same place. And if I need to rejig any of them, I can do it. It's not a difficult dart. Let's put these over here for the minute and get the next pieces put in. Ah oh dear. There we go. And we're going to be cutting the same pieces out here, just one. Unfortunately, when you're just cutting one piece out, it's kind of a pain. <laughs> Mesh is easier to cut when there's layers of it. When there's just one, it's ugh. I don't like cutting just the one piece out, but that's okay. With the black pieces, it'll be a bit easier since that'll be the opposite side. I'm a little gutted still that I couldn't get any red elastic. I don't know why, all the places that shipped to me that had red elastic were just completely sold out. I know that they've just had uh, the, the online uh, bra event, so the, the sewing bra bee. I wonder if maybe that's part of the reason so many elastics were out of stock, was there's this big event online that happens, I think it was, it's August or August, bra August, where people make a lot of bras, gets people into sewing bras and stuff like that. I love watching it, I think it's fantastic. The only reason I wouldn't take part is because it's so close to, you know, me doing this thing in uh, October. But I think the, the stuff they do is fantastic. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it would have been a bit expensive for me to do both. But I wonder, with what when I was ordering all of the stuff, I was ordering it in September, which was right after. Whether or not that might be why all the stuff I was looking at was out of stock. <laughs> uh, sad times. It's probably that, honestly. Oh dear. Oh. It's not the same pieces, you have to stitch them back to cut them out again. I mean, you're right. It's not. It's, you're right. But still. But still. Oh dear. go and oh Ooh. 
I haven't left very much seam allowance on that side, so I hope that's not a problem. The thing is, I don't, I've left a lot of seam allowance on those and I don't actually use it that often, so I think preferably I'd actually cut a smaller seam allowance. Because honestly, I probably only would sew about half a centimetre. <laughs> And I don't want to make the bra bigger than I've got it planned because I've cut my elastic to the size I need it. Jayco, how goes it? I hope you're having a good day. I've read an article on Instagram. Posters and online orders have become an economic crisis recently. Something to do with chips? I don't know. I zoned out. <laughs> Something to do with chips? I love the blue hair. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I'm actually just getting some stuff in so I can re dye it because my roots are a bit crazy. But I appreciate it. Oh, dear. Oh, welcome. And I hope you're having a good day. Oh, I honestly don't really understand Instagram that well. I, I post my stuff on there because it's like I want to have a, not portfolio, but like a history of the stuff that I've made. Because it's nice to look back and see like the stuff that you've made over time. So it's more like a, a personal, my Instagram's quite personal honestly. It's not, it's not got any personal information on it, but it feels quite personal to me. It's like, here's the stuff that I've made over time, here's how I made it, here's my making processes. It's, it's just like a personal thing more than anything. Um, I really I really quite like it. It's just everything that I've made, here it is. But I, I don't really have any interest in growing the Instagram that much. Um, it's just a, a nice thing to have where I can see everything that I've made and be like proud of it. Yeah. Oh dear. Not gonna lie, the roots aren't too bad. I think due to your natural hair colour being dark, that's a noticeable if with my blonde hair. Yeah, I've always I've always been at kind of a dilemma with that. Like, would I prefer blonde hair so that it's easier to dye? Because bear in mind, bleaching hair that's as dark as mine is not happy. It's not happy. Because <laughs> you have to get your hair quite light for these sort of colours. Uh, and bleaching this hair is mm, -mm. But um But then on the other side, when it grows out, it's not so bad. Like, it's not so bad at all. Like, it doesn't show up immediately. And then when it does show up, it doesn't look too bad. So it's like a very hit or miss whether or not, you know, which which way I go with it, whether I prefer to have a lighter hair color or the hair color that I currently have. I will say I don't want my current hair color permanently because uh, my current hair color permanently is, uh, like, like, like my actual hair color because it's too dark for my skin tone. And yeah, it, it, uh, it makes me look very, very pale by comparison, which is why I tend to go for slightly brighter hair colors because then I don't look quite so pale. Like, yeah. Because my natural hair color is very, very dark. Oh. oh, thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate it, Techno. Don't want to be bold at 30. No. Oh, dear. Although I've been dyeing my hair since I was like 15, 16. 16, I would have been. And so I, I haven't stopped about dyeing my hair and I'm 20, nearly 26. And so I'm doing pretty good. How long does it take to make each bra? Depends on the bra I'm making. And also bear in mind, I'm streaming them. Uh, I don't know if you've ever tried to stream making something. It takes like at least twice as long as it'd make you normally because you're doing other things, you're chatting, you're having like a fun time. So I don't know if I can really take every bra that I've made as like a good quantity of time. The other thing is the bras that I'm making are like cosplay bras. So they've got like a lot of extra stuff on them. But uh, <laughs> I'd say between four to seven hours per bra. Um, depending on how complicated they are on stream. Off stream, it would probably be between two to five hours. On stream, four to seven, yeah. Hmm. Okay, right now my roots immediately show if I let it grow out, it'd probably be easier to dye bright colors without bleaching though. Yeah, also I love gray hair. <laughs> I, I know probably, it's probably the same feeling as I have though, like, a lot of people like my natural hair colour, but if you get stuck with it, you don't want it, but, ah. Uh, I think grey hair is very mysterious. But again, if you get stuck with it, I'm sure it's not the same, but, uh, the mystery though. Oh. Very me. 
Uh, Matrix, how goes it? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. My hair is kind of thin, like it's long and good, but it's not, uh, I'm not lying saying, I also have very thin hair. I think uh, my hair is probably not thin by genetics as much as it's thin by not being very well, but my hair is also quite thin. Um, and, but it's, my, mine's been thin since before I dyed it, so I already knew my hair was going to be thin. Probably similar to you, right? My hair's like, it's just thin. Um, but it's not got thinner from dyeing it. But I've been, I've been careful. I've been very heckin' careful. And I don't bleach it very often. I try not to do it more than four times a year for bleaching it. Which it isn't very often. <laughs> oh dear, and I only do the roots. Uh, started dying mine at 16, haven't stopped yet, 30 years later. Uh, though no, m mostly the standard hair dyes that I go without bleaching reds, black, back in 90s. Oh, Eugene! Yeah, I love grey hair. This is elegant, like a sign of aging to elegance. Some people also get grey hair super early. My auntie got it at the age of 30. Yeah. Makes me look older than I feel. That's fair. Mine started grey in mid-20s. Oh yeah, okay, fair enough. But I want you to make me scream with your fingers so I spelled yours, not yours. <laughs> On her computer. God damn it. Here's a trend for young teens to dye their hair ash grey, I mean. Uh, that's true, yeah. I mean, I, I've had my hair grey a couple times. I think that's probably when my hair was its least healthy, would be the only thing. But I have had my hair grey once or twice. But that was when my hair was much, much, much shorter. Like, I haven't had long grey hair because it wouldn't have been healthy for me with my hair type. But when my hair was shorter, I had grey hair. Right now, I couldn't do it. My hair would be too long, I think. But um, when my hair was short, I could do it. Uh, that was fun. I, I really liked it. I had it grey for a long time as well. Like, I had it grey for nearly a year, I think. Like, it, it was a long time that I had grey hair. I, I loved it. It was one of my favourite hair colours. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was proper enamoured by it. Oh, uh, dear. I'm not gonna lie, I like the ash grey look. Me too. I liked it so much. It was just the how expensive it was because I had to bleach my hair twice and then tone it to get it that colour. It was a pain in the ass. Like, and that's the only reason I stopped doing it was was how much of a pain in the ass it was to do. If it wasn't such a pain in the ass, I would have kept doing it. And again, like if I had like blonde hair to start with, it probably would be much easier. But because my hair is like nearly black. And it's like really cold as well, my hair. It's like not really a warm colour. Um, it's not not a good not a good one to do to do uh grey with. Mm -mm. Like really, really bad the grey hair. Oh dear. Oh, I just read what I said. Chips like electronic chip. Actually us humans. Oh right! I see. Sorry, Jack. Yeah, I also thought chips like food. <laughs> I was like, chips, nice, delicious. <laughs> I love chips. That's fair, Red. Mm. Oh, great, you have silver highlights, heck yeah. Mm. Also, Dane, thank you for the follow, welcome on in. Oh dear. Just realized why the pyramid looks unfinished. It was an IKEA build and some pieces were missing. <laughs> oh dear. My son with his black right now only wears black. We'll see if the face sticks or if it sticks like it did for me, yeah. I hide my hair or wrap it, so I think dying would be a waste of money. That's fair. If if it's, you're not gonna see it. It's whether or not it make you happy or not at the end of the day, but like it Dying your hair does cost money. <laughs> It does be costing quite a lot of money. Uh, I will say this blue one's been pretty good though. I've had this blue one for three months, I want to say, and I've not re-dyed it. And like, I don't know. I think I'm at the point I'd recommend this. Like, as my, oh, although this blue did dye my entire body blue. Like, also this is the color. After three months of not, not re-dyeing my hair, it's still this blue. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. And my hair feels really healthy, like, I don't know. 
because I've not redone anything to it. Uh, hmm. That's pretty, pretty good. I'm, pr I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. I don't, pff, I don't know. So that's not been too expensive, honestly. Normally I'd have to re-dye it, which doesn't have any bleach or anything in it, but I'd have to re-dye it every month. Three months. Oh, nay, nay. Just say thank you. Oh, no, no, that's all right. Thank you. I just used, I used to have piercings and stretches. Now my styling is different colors or cloth for my turban, different wrap methods. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, styles do change. I, I used to wear piercings a lot more, but like, because I have headphones on all the time, it's, it's not comfortable to have all of my piercings on with these kind of headphones. So just don't wear them anymore. I mean, I've had them since so long ago, I can easily put them back in again. But I wear them so so infrequently these days. I don't, yeah, I just don't don't have them. Oh, only special occasions. What dye did you use? Directions is amazing. I used to use Directions a lot more, but I I think people have okay. I am not a hairdresser by any means, but a lot of my friends use Directions and they've had really positive results. But I've not had positive results with Directions personally. But I've seen people have really positive results. But I have really positive results with Manic Panic and vice versa, my friends have not had so positive results with Manic Panic. I have a feeling, uh, I don't know what the rock, I have a feeling that um, depending on the color you're trying to go or potentially your hair type, maybe different dyes are gonna work better for you. I could be wrong though. I am not a hairdresser or anything like that. I've just dyed my hair for a long time and directions have never worked well for me. Like any direction I've tried to use has been bad. But Manic Panic has consistently worked really well for me. Like this one's been a Manic Panic. Um, when I had the yellow and pink hair, do you remember how long that Battenberg hair used to stay in my head? And I, I had yellow and pink at the same time. And that used to work really well. Um, and that was fantastic. And that was, yeah. <sighs> Oh dear, but yeah, it's, it's been really good. So, and the thing is with Manic Panic as well, first of all, a lot of it's vegan, which I'm like, thank you. I know I'm eating a lot of meat right now, but I'm also trying to gain weight up the Yazoo. <laughs> Generally, we try to use more vegan products if we can, um, which I'm a big fan of. But two, you can use half the tub, put the screw back on and then come back to it later and use the rest. I like that. I know directions do the same, but a lot of the box dyes don't. So as a, as a post to like the X live and stuff like that, it's better than that. Uh, so yeah, I'm a big fan of that. And yeah, the only downside of this one is it dyed me head to toe blue also. So next time I dye it with this, I'm gonna have to put a bin bag around my neck and wear that like a poncho. <laughs> Cause otherwise I was head to foot blue for like a week, but the money saved by this, because if I didn't have to redo my roots, I wouldn't have to redo my hair. <laughs> it's so blue still. <laughs> oh dear. Blue stuck in well, it did. Uh, what do you use? My sons fell out quickly and yes, it dyed everything. His skin, his sheets, beds, everything. Directions is what my sons use. I use Manic Panic, but I will say for the first week, it dyed my entire body. So you want to be careful on that. Like my face, my neck, my my everything. Everything was blue. You think of a crevice in your body, it was blue. And it was hilarious. Like, don't get me wrong, very funny. Like I left the shower and I was like, no, there's no way. And then I show Shiny and Shiny's pissing himself because I've turned myself into a Smurf. It's like when you accidentally dunk your hand into the hand eye and you've not got your gloves on, which maybe no one else has done, but I've done. Um, but over your entire body. And you're just like, oh my God, I am a Smurf. What do I do? My whole body is blue. Um, <laughs> I can't do anything like this. And it's like, not really bad. It's kind of like, um, if you've just tinted yourself blue. So you like, it's not terrible, but it's like noticeable, noticeable. And like, especially in the crevices and stuff like that. So like the crevices under my eyes, for instance, blue <laughs> like you don't think of it until you get blue dye in the bags under your eyes and you're like oh my god <laughs> and like my neck here oh oh 
Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, it's something. I will say it defined my abs. Fantastic. I have never looked so ripped as when I dyed my entire body blue and you could see the definition on all of my abs in blue. <laughs> but it also looked ridiculous. It looked absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I had to like scrub my entire body. Oh God, yeah. But my hair's been fantastic. <laughs> oh, I always take mine out after getting baptized as Sikh. Personal, ah, uh, personal jewelry is discouraged, but no, a tattoo or no, uh, no tattoo or no, no. Uh, yeah, I still love to see people stylize and individualize their looks, but just do with wraps now with different colors and patterns. That's fair. Yeah, just like a little different. Directions is bright red worked great as highlights for me. The blue for my son, not so much. It could just be the colors, right? Because I often go more blues and purples. Maybe that's why I've often had issues. Up the Yazoo, such a good word. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how common up the Yazoo is outside of the UK, but up the Yazoo is a good one. I think it depends on hair type directions, works for warm hair, manic panic for cool, maybe? That could also be it. I definitely have cool hair. <laughs> I didn't come here for smurf shaming. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I called my son smurf in that phase. I remember smurfette jelly. I'm blue double D double dye. Also, oh, poor la la la, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Is Karen like to have a word with you for the next cup of coming out? Yeah! That'll be me. Get blue hair dyed to outline the abs. We're taking notes. May I shake? Oh, I saved my ass, yes. Oh dear, highlights the ass and the abs. I know nothing about hair dye. Yeah, go for it, go for it. Oh dear. It, oh my god, it was it was something. It was, it was heckin' something. I I. Pfft. It was very funny. It was it, it was very funny. Really, really good. That's what it was. Really, really good. But uh, next time I'm gonna wear a poncho. Like I'm gonna get a bin bag, tape it around my head, like under here, like not really tight, but like so that the water can't constantly drop off my hair all over the rest of my body. Like, my feet might still go blue, but like, that's so much better than than what happened last time. <laughs> it's an improvement and I'll take it. Oh dear. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's the plan next time. Because I still want to use the same hair dye, honestly, since it works so well. I think that's what it is. It, it just works so well and I was so impressed that I still kind of want to use it. There we go. Whee! Oh dear. I had to have my hair dyed for work. They were bleaching it for nine months weekly. They completely ruined my hair. They eventually got the hint that I was not impressed having my scalp. Jesus Christ. Weekly, oh. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! That that's yeah that's not good for you. Like again, I bleach my hair every three months, so like about th four times a year, and that's that's it. <laughs> Excuse me, that wasn't your windows. Don't worry, that was my windows. You're fine. You're fine. That was me. <laughs> your windows are safe. Oh dear. But yeah, like every three months, if I can help it, yeah. Oh, uh, reminds me when I lived in India for Holly, the festival of spring with these nice light and colors. I was legit multicolored for weeks. <laughs> Go to that. I'm a ballet dancer and it was for, uh, for a role. I wondered if it was for like an acting role or something like that. Because I've heard people having to do stuff like that. Oh, but it does sound like it sucks. Also, one cup, one cup, good. Now the other side, this is what I mean by creating is so much slower when you're on stream because there's like, there's so much to do, so much to chat about, heck yeah. Like not that I'd have it any other way, but <laughs> trying to get like an average time of how long it takes to make something when you're live on stream is like, oh, oh I'm just not sure I'm afraid. Because <laughs> uh, you, you want to like divide however long it takes you on stream, like that's probably the amount, like by half and that's probably the amount of time it actually takes. I'm so distracted. 
Oh, uh, my hair uh, and just weird crevices you find. So we colors we excited to be like, huh? Oh, this sounds horrendous. Let's call you a ballet dancer. My uh, sister used to be that for, before an injury. Cool profession, I gotta say. Yeah. Oh, a week wasn't an option. It depends what you're doing though, right? Like accuracy is like a lot for some people. Um. Mm. So I started to back up some of my work files yesterday to a new cloud host to look got full. So I started searching for another cloud host and found one with a hundred gigabytes of storage. So kids, upload your files. Always, because just now I remember I deleted something important with other files, but luckily I already uploaded it. Best feeling ever, heck yeah. Oh dear. I am I had a, a bad situation a few years ago. So I, I'm actually pretty good these days. Where I, I'm I've lost things before. <laughs> And these days, I, I am a bit better at it. I mean, it sucks that that happened, had to happen for me to to pick that up, but I'm, I'm a lot better these days than I used to be. Mm. Ah, a legit walked around looking prismatic for weeks. No way on hair. Took the colors in. Oh my god. No, Dane, that sounds fantastic. Oh my god, I love that. That's the kind of style that you couldn't pull off any other way, I'm sure, though. Like, where it's like, it'd be really difficult to get that kind of colour in your hair any other way. That sounds beautiful. That's the kind of thing I'd, I'd love. I think that's lovely. And I'm thinking of streaming, but I haven't considered how much longer it'll take to complete commissions. Yeah, so... Mmm... I think I'm not the only crafter who said this, so it can't just be me. But I will say I'm very chatty. There are crafters who are less chatty than me. I, I am I am chatty, uh, but then I also part of why I wanted to stream was because I wanted to be more social because I get stuck in the house a lot and because I get stuck in the house a lot I have no one to talk to and I'm just like <laughs> talk, <laughs> but um uh you know <sighs> if you're a great multitasker you probably will be able to do a little better than I am where it comes to you'd be able to have this conversation while pinning this me. I'm gonna look at you and be like, I've, I've got the pin in my hand and I have the work here and I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh dear. It really depends on what your goals are with, with streaming, right? If your goals are more commission focused, you'll really be showing people those commissions 24 seven. My goals were 50, 50. I wanted to have a healthy way to do my sewing. I wasn't driving myself to the point of sickness every day. And I wanted to have uh, a way to communicate with people because I get, again, stuck in, I'm not a, uh, I'm not the healthiest person, I get stuck in the house a lot. And uh, because of that, I wanted a way to socialize with people more. And streaming has been a really good avenue for both. The, the downside is my productivity is lower some days than it could be if I was crafting without streaming. But personally, I wouldn't have it any other way because I get so much more from this. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Do your commission work okay? It allows you to combine both. I think, I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> See, oh, and if you don't, you don't have to continue it. Just because you started streaming don't mean you have to do it forever. <laughs> but if you give it a go, you could see how you like the the talking working balance and if you do like it you can keep going if you don't like it stop <laughs> I remember going home shortly after Holly lived there for three years and got uh, upgraded to Abu Dhabi to business class Ooh, nice I've always wanted to fly business class because the family needed a seat and they're willing to offer me an upgrade to a seat but I legit think I freaked out all the businessmen and women three weeks straight back back and it's not like death and like I've been to an acid party I always wanted to go on like a fancy flight I hate flying and so I'm always like maybe if I go fancy I'll feel better I'll go fancy one day if you want to host uh, if you want the cloud host name it's called Digo Digo nice that's a nice name I can imagine the reactions Dude, the oil she can look at me like I was from Mar. <laughs> oh, bless you. I felt so out of place, almost to the point of being embarrassed, but well, you know what though? I bet they were all just interested in what you've been up to. They probably, they probably weren't looking down on you as much as being like, I wonder what you've been doing. <laughs> like, whoa. The wig 
was planned to say, but like a crafty lady said it was wasn't staying during the rehearsal, so no matter how much we pinned it, it was like wherever, whatever we'll just dye it. Not thinking that it would go on for almost a year. <laughs> Luckily I speak a little Arabic and uh a few sister that helped, heck yeah. Uh gotta go now. Keep smiling. Take care, Techno, and thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope that it goes well. Look after yourself. Ah oh, dear. Uh, be we like oh yeah, fair enough. Get yourself some good foods. <laughs> foods that you'll actually enjoy, Red. <laughs> Unlike the menagerie of foods we've got here. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. There we go. I mean, if you do start streaming, I hope you enjoy it though. I mean. I found so so much joy in streaming like the thing is I've always liked sewing right I, I, I actually made a Twitter post about this earlier because we recently hit 2k and um, <laughs> I'm slow I know I'm slow a couple of people are probably gonna call me on this I'm very slow but <laughs> I think we hit 2k like a few weeks ago but, <laughs> um, but um, I think like a week or two ago it wasn't too bad but um, you know, we've never really had any goals on this channel or anything like that, but I really do appreciate all the heck and support we've had here. And yeah, I, I didn't realize how much I'd enjoy having other people along with me streaming and making things. Because like, again, I've always enjoyed sewing. So like this part, I always knew I was going to like, but it's, it's so much fun having people here with me as I sew. And like, yes, my projects are slower. <laughs> But it's just so much more fun. So much more heckin' fun. And it's not that it wasn't fun before, but it's just like extra fun, you know? <laughs> the fun is just up. Ah. Uh, ah, oh dear. I love my job, but yes, injuries are a common thing. It's collectively our biggest fear. But after lockdown and once the world reopens, come to us and see me dance. Then they just got out of lockdown and rehearsing again. Heck yeah! Oh, I hope, I hope rehearsals are going well. The fact that I was a girl, white person and I wore my uh, Pashtun uh, kurta and hat when coming to the airport. I got stopped quite a few times because of my look. Usually been in Pakistan, Lahore, Islamabad, just as a backpacking holiday in between my work in India. Okay, and then it's designed before I went home. <laughs> also, it looks about me, how goes it? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. I miss dancing, yeah. Injuries are very much rubbish difficult to predict that kind of thing happening in your life. Oh dear. No, it's a oh, it's a lot of damage. Jesus Christ. So much damage. There we go. All the way up to here. Whoop. There we go. Wah! Anyway, close to all, I'll definitely take you off in the offer. I love ballet and I'm generally just dancing. Spent a uh, good while with stuff. A uh, dervish, a uh, Sufi dervish group in India and it reminded me of times of ballet. The grace and self movements and absolute control is impressive. Heck! I used to watch my sister rehearse at home. Also, Redestin Hackers, and I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. I almost finished my scrap ballot blanket. Oh, heck yeah. Give me two seconds. Are you going to post in the Discord or do you need a permit? Just let me know. Wee, 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 wee. Uh, what's doodle? I'm okay. Good. I hope I hope your day is going well. I hope your week is going well too. It's nice to see you. Thank you for mo uh, thank you mobsters. Thank you for flex tape. I'd like a permit, please. Give me two minutes. I'm a slow typer. You're gonna have to see my fish and my eggs. I haven't even had an egg yet. Ooh. This is our permit of the half hour. I'm not doing another one. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm, I, I can't, I, I'm very slow with permits, I'm so sorry, because I can't type. Nobody, nobody look at my keyboard also, because my keyboard is potentially against terms of service, so as far as Twitch is concerned, 
my keyboard does not exist. I know we have a couple of new people here, so don't look at it. Where is the T on the keyboard? Does anyone know where T is? Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> at that person. There you go. You got a permit. <laughs> Oh dear, it looks good. Also, what is that? You didn't see it. <laughs> nobody saw the keyboard. <laughs> it's a little against TOS potentially, so nobody saw it. And isn't that this? We're doing a mukbang today because we reached a goal. So I actually need to update the goal slide because the goal slide's a little out of date. But we're doing Booptober. These are our milestones. And yesterday we hit 300 pounds, which is our cursed tiny food mukbang, which is what we've got today. They're not really cursed, but a lot of people give me trash about eating them. So I, I took them all, except for the pizza, which unfortunately it's got bread in it, so I can't really eat it right now. But I took all the rest of them and I, I brought them onto stream so that I can eat them in front of you all. Heck yeah. Oh, Scrap Banker, hi, thank you. Oh wait, it's a, it's, if it's a Twitch clip, uh, you can post that anyway, well look. We have Twitch clips in. Sorry, I should mention that. Um, and also we have the timers off today because we hit 250 pounds yesterday as well. So the next, uh, the next small milestone is we'll have the timers off for another stream. And then the next big one is that I'll be a duck egg for Halloween. <laughs> and that's at 400 pounds. Um, yep, that's the next big one. Oh dear. Good stuff. Oh. oh, thank you for the party. Who did it? Purple! Let me have a look at this Woolux Worthy. Oh. oh, you could do that. That's alright. Uh, we like to party. We like, we like to party. We, whoa! Wait a second. We like to party. We, oh my god. Oh, that's beautiful, Woolux Worthy. Oh, it's huge. Oh my god. I love the colors you've used. It's so pretty. It's so heckin' pretty. And it's huge. Oh my god. That's so nice. Hey, get jelly. Guess what just went public? Oh, that video. The vi oh my god. Thank you for another party. Purple. Morning, purple. Uh, there it is. George Leap of Fave. Party. We like, we like to party. We like to party. We just got George in the background for the party. Ah, uh, there I am. Yeah. Party. We like to party. Oh my god, amazing. So yeah, anyone who wasn't aware, Dem made a video. Also, Dem's red now. <laughs> Dem made a video. Um, oh god, about George's George's leap of faith. Um, with my my commentary on George's leap of faith, it's quite something. As long as I'm gonna put it on Doc Funk of my boys. Ah, oh, bunk bed to cover the slit. Uh, slats. That's like a nice. I don't like the way they looked at me. <laughs> but the slats! <laughs> I still have 70k channel points. Oh no! This is what we meant by big guns. Oh dear. Oh, I didn't expect Jelly's response suddenly popping up. That's actually quite good. <laughs> it's perfect. That, yep, there it is. I'm in that video. That's me. Oh. Uh, also, if you haven't checked out George, George is a very sweet bean. They don't get angry very often. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, bless George. They don't deserve any of this, but it's so funny. 
It's because it's because it's George is why it's so funny. Because George is not an angry bean. George is really sweet. George is really calm. George is a very like just chill, pleasant person. And then George that stream was <laughs> a pleasure to watch. <laughs> it's perfect things about, yeah. Goddamn genius on a funny afternoon. It was. Oh, dearie me. George just smacks controller. <laughs> That better make it into his yearly highlights. Because it was so funny. <laughs> oh. So good. So good. Oh. 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 Dearing me. Poor George. <laughs> and then. Into here. Oh, also, Dem, we have. Two, two things got reached yesterday. So we have a mini mukbang happening. I'll show you the foods in just a second. And also we have um, the alerts off again. I'm just getting all these pieces cut out because I have been getting distracted, truth be told. Not me, and nearly an hour and a half in, I haven't even got the pieces cut out for the bra yet. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Oh dear. Look! Look at our foods! They're so cute! I have eaten a few of the pickles, but... <laughs> cute! We got our... Animal produce. <laughs> Granolas. Pickles. <laughs> oh dear! Uh, what's mukbang? It's basically eating live is mukbang. Or eating on camera is mukbang. Yeah. D and D fan, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I put D and D fan, but any tabletop RPG fan really, because I also like Pathfinder an awful lot, and I really like Vampire the Masquerade uh, as well. So both of those are also I am a big fan of. I did I did like a Vampire Masquerade campaign that lasted nearly like two, like two to three years. Um, I'm a big fan of both of them too. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. By dancing in front of 400 people on a broken toe. All healed now, but yikes, not a fun few nights. That's why I decided. They could pay more understanding to your understudy who clearly isn't prepared. Oh my god. Also, unpredictable. How's it going? Haven't made that same mistake. I did something similar at one point. It wasn't a big performance. It was like a really small one. But I had... <laughs> so this was right after the time where I put the sewing machine through my finger and I put it up my bone. So that was when I got the x-ray where I had hole punched my bone. And so my finger wasn't broken, but it was hole punched, right? And so it needed some some healing. I had to do a guitar performance with that finger. Um, I think within days of hole punching my finger. And after that, I was like, maybe we take a chill. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we don't push ourselves quite so hard, you know? Because this was a lot, actually. Like... Like, looking back, that was a lot. And why? Mm. It's just so fucking good. <laughs> I don't understand people disliking sardines. It's hard. Can't even mind how grueling that is. If that could be one reason, hats off to you. I don't know what it's like. The like, biggest... Making bigger bones find anything involving a foot, like, yeah, feet stuff. I've only had one foot injury and it killed. Because you have to walk on it! Mm. You lost a finger but you found it. Heck yeah! Also, thank you for the hydrate. Maybe we were afraid from hole punching our fingers just for fun. No! I hold what when I want! <laughs> you can't stop me! Yeah, no, I'm, I'm much better with that kind of thing now. It happened because I was pushing fabric through that was too thick and I was overtired. So these days I have a much more healthy work life balance. Mm. 
I don't, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, if I have injured myself, I don't put pressure on it. Because, mm -hmm. I bet you're better at hole punching your fingers. You practiced. I have practiced. I've done it three times. But, uh, I don't do it anymore. <laughs> Those days are behind me. Those days are in the past. I would never do that again. Hole punching is your fingers is for losers. <laughs> <laughs> Only noobs hole punch their fingers. <laughs> um, my goal once it's like in those vacuum door frames that you get. Oh yeah, where the lock sort of just closes and creates a vacuum, then locked. Anyway, my finger got caught in the frame, and the girl rushed in before me and locked the bathroom and then a friend didn't notice and came and yanked me hard. Basically just broke off his head from Scrapper's kid and we rushed to the hospital and put in an ice bath. Ooh. Honestly, like fingers in doors and stuff like that. I think because a lot of people have like at some point caught their finger in a door. And that's like just 10 times worse. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. No, not at all. Ooh, no. Nope. It just sounds so goddamn painful. And like, for what? I've lost like a very small part of my finger one time. And it didn't come back, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, I didn't get that piece back. But, you know what? It was only the side of my finger and I didn't really need it anyway. <laughs> but, that, that's the only thing that I've lost on my hand. It was like the side of one of my fingers. And I didn't really need it anyway and it does, it's fine. <laughs> no one's gonna notice. <laughs> and it was uh, sanding, I think. No, was it sanding? I can't even remember. I've had so many hand injuries. I'm pretty sure that was from sanding. I've had a few injuries. I've had one with sanding, I've had, and then there was one with a, I caught it with, uh, when I was cutting some stuff. I'm pretty sure this was with sanding that I, I lost it, but I could be wrong. I would like this one to be this way means this one needs to be this way. There we go. There we go. That'll be our front. I feel like it's just kind of like one of the dangers of crafting. <laughs> you gotta be careful and conscious of what you're doing otherwise you will hurt yourself. Also, that's our front. <laughs> oh dear. Any of you, anything related to that gives me cold shivers any thought. Anything with minor limbs or breaks, I hate the idea of it. It was so quick I didn't even notice. It only started to be painful after the shock. Yeah, I did exactly the same thing when I went through my hand with the sewing machine. I went through it like proper, like I've had it a couple times where it's gone through just the nail. But when I went through up the bone, um, and like hole punched my, my bone and my finger up to the knuckle. It didn't hurt, like really barely at all. Like there was a sting, but it didn't really hurt as, as you'd imagine that it hurt if you punched through your bone, right? You'd imagine it to be like a intense pain and it didn't. And I, I had to wind the needle back out of my finger because it was still in there at the time. And because uh, funnily enough, only, I, it was a double needle and only one of the needles broke. <laughs> so, yeah, I had, to, I had to do all of that. And then, yeah, I, I just kind of did all of it. And then I washed it under cold water until it stopped bleeding. And then waited for somebody to be able to take me to the hospital. And, yeah, I never really... It, it didn't hurt that badly. <laughs> until, like, a little while later. And then I was like, Jesus Christ, that hurts. <laughs> 
Well, it's because I think of the shock, right? Like, I was in so much shock that, uh... It, in so much shock that it, it didn't really hurt initially. And then about, I want to say, like, half an hour later, it, it really hurt. My god, it hurt. It took a minute. Um... It took a minute. Yeah. And then, like, when it was healing, it hurt. Uh, probably you had no feeling because it missed a nerve. That, that could be the case. It could also be that I missed some nerves, which is good. But, I mean, I think also, like, bear in mind, I, like, smashed my nail and I did also go up the bone. I think probably it was more to do with the fact that I just went straight into shock. <laughs> I think I just took a minute to process what had actually happened. I was just like, oh. <laughs> and, and I just like blanked on, on what was going on around me. And I went straight into, let's fix this kind of mode. Like, first aid mode. <laughs> oh, I didn't feel shocked the first few while my arm being broken, yeah. And then like, when, when other people were around, it started to hurt more. <laughs> It takes a good half hour, and then you start to feel the th the thumping. Yeah, like the like the in your finger, and it feels like it's bleeding again. And it's not, and you're just like, Aah. it gets really really hot, and it really hurts. <laughs> Talk is such a useful evolutionary tool. Yeah. Oh, the the other times I did it, it hurt more, but the first time it did not hurt until like half an hour later, and then it really. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there you go. I think that's the other thing though. Uh, the first machine I got was not not so powerful as this one. It was a little baby machine. Like, not, not baby machine, it, it could do most things, but it was like a, a smaller machine than this one. And I'm pretty sure, this is the thing, I'm pretty sure it was my machine that went through my finger. And... I get a lot of people ask me like what machines would be suitable for their kids to go sewing on and I'm like Most machines will go will, will do pretty significant damage if you sew through them Incorrectly like not more than what I done to myself But like I think what I did was like on the upper end of like the damage you could cause to yourself Like I don't think you could do much worse than mashing your hand in a sewing machine, right? Um, and that's what I done so <laughs> But I wasn't that old when I did it. I would have been under 16. It wasn't that old. And yeah, I, I get some people ask me like if they'd be okay leaving their kids alone with a smaller sewing machine. But I don't think, I think if you're worried about leaving your kid alone with a sewing machine, probably the answer is no. <laughs> There's not a sewing machine you can leave your kid alone with. <laughs> <laughs> to, best, best just to teach them good practice. <laughs> oh, in my case, it happened to me. Not because I wasn't taught good practice, because I know what I should have been doing, but because I was overtired and I shouldn't have been sewing and I was putting for a really thick piece of fabric. And so I was like pushing it like like into the teeth and then I jumped and my, my finger went underneath it. And she doesn't stop sewing. So yeah. Uh, I was thinking the same thing when I felt everyone was like, whoa, are you okay? And I was like, oh uh, yeah, my thigh hurts. 45 minutes later, I suddenly understood why people were so dramatic. <laughs> oh, it's a lady tension. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Oh dear. Oh, so I can't help but look to see if people survived the meat grinder. No! <laughs> survived the meat grinder. You were so close. <laughs> are you thinking I was only 10? I was on a scout camp. Ironically, I was a boy scout as a kid. I said, then, uh, Ten finger, didn't permanently lose it, half it, but got no feeling still. Oh, I mean that is a shame. Like losing the feeling is a is a proper shame. I'm glad you got it back, but for like wearing gloves and stuff. <laughs> I'm glad you can wear a pair of gloves and fill it out, but you know, I'm sorry that uh, it happened. Oh, it's got black in there, has it? Okay, well if it's got black in there then we'll, we'll stay and do the black side first and then come back and do the other side afterwards. That's fine. I thought, I thought it had a colourful thread in it so I was like, oh we're gonna have to change it regardless, but well, it's 
fine. I really want some more of the salmon. I'm gonna have some more of the salmon. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a whole salmon. <laughs> that's not- that's not my intention. I thought I'd eat like half. Ow. It's so good. Mmm. I peppered and limed it in layers. So every now and again I hit like a pocket of pepper and lime and it's like, oh. <laughs> Could honest compliment I've received you? Could you give a black glove? Next one, <laughs> never expected you. <laughs> I just don't know what other benefit having 10 fingers has. Other than like, okay, you can fill out a glove. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but you know what? I'm sure that is useful. Like, I bet if you don't have 10 fingers and you get gloves, that is probably really annoying because I bet your hands go in the wrong places. Oh, I'm probably like, it'd be annoying holding a phone a little bit. But yeah, sitting at a glove. Like, other, other things that you specifically need 10 fingers for. Typing maybe would be easier. Yeah, maybe typing. Kind of useful now that I look at it. Not really a loss since I play, uh, since I play out. Uh, nice that one finger can hit hard doesn't really bother me. Doesn't get sore like my other fingers can get. That's true, playing piano. And most instruments actually would be a benefit if you had 10 fingers. I don't think you couldn't play them if you had nine, but it's probably a benefit to have 10. Maybe even more of a benefit if you had 11. I know people that have 11 fingers. I did, I don't anymore. Ooh. Went through hair therapy, now bone therapy, now supportive creatures. <laughs> We're supportive creatures. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Very me. But then again, I wonder actually if instruments are really suited. Well, maybe like piano you'd be fine, but like something like saxophone, I wonder, I wonder if you'd have many benefits to having 11 fingers. Or if the last finger would sort of just get in the way. It depends on, I suppose, how useful that last finger is to you. If it's a finger that you can do a lot with or not. Because some people's last finger is more useful than others. I hear you messing up my fabric for no reason. So my bobbin's being a butt. There's no reason for it, it just happens sometimes. Sewing machine things. Just sewing machine things. My bobbin's decided to eat fabric. You're, is it because you've smelled food for a minute and now you're like hungry? Is that it? Start to the day, Bobbin. Are you okay? It's fine if you're not, but like, I'd rather. If you're having issues, tell me ASAP, please, because I don't want to get halfway through this and be like, actually, actually, I sewed nothing. I sewed nothing. <laughs> oh dear. George, how's stream going? Stop. <laughs> These all said George out. They, they, they lost the exam band, and here is Jelly commentary on their best highlight. Yes. What's it? Exclamation mark sog. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> How's it going, George? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. We are being slow today. Very heckin' slow. But we're doing we're doing good here. I hope I hope your day is going well. Have you seen what Dem made? I'm sure you must have because I'm sure you approved of it. <laughs> oh dear. It's something, huh? It's something. Uh, that's a pickle. I'm like about to put a pin in my pickle. Not quite what I want to do. Ah yes, jelly. Where do you keep your pins? I keep my pins in the pickles! <laughs> that's exactly where they belong. Professional seamstress. I keep my pins in the pickles. <laughs> And I consume the pickles. 
Oh dear. There we go. Ah, oh. <laughs> Cyber Huggers, and I hope you're having a good day too. Welcome on in. Oh dear. We are just getting some stuff sorted for this bralette. So, we're gonna need to turn some stuff inside out, but I might, oh my god, oh test, testing, hi, oh my god, you were doing a stream, how goes it, how did it go, how long was it, <laughs> anyone who doesn't know testing, testing is a cosplayer, they make very heckin' large cosplays, what were you up to, oh dear, George, oh and thank you for shouting out testing, there you were doing makers and crafting, heck yeah, um, anyone who's new over here, we are doing at the moment Boobtober, so we are crafting lots and lots of bras, uh, to make as much money as possible for against breast cancer. Almost eight hours, Jesus Christ, testing. That's, that is a heckin' long stream. Ah, oh dear. Right. I'm gonna get the front part now attached to the back part because we're gonna start getting all these parts attached at once. Yes. Ah. Uh, George like the part of Jelly. He just kept staring at it and being like, I'm missing, George, I'm missing something, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you did. You kept just looking at being like, I'm missing something, aren't I? And I literally would be behind my screen being like, yes, jump, jump, George, just jump, George. <laughs> and you'd just be there like staring at it like, hmm. Is it, it's gotta be something simple, right? I remember it being something simple. Like I've done this before and I remember it being really simple and you'd just be staring at it. And I'd be like, it is simple, George, jump. <laughs> Uh, and that was like my whole thing. <laughs> uh, eight hours goes past. Does proton pack from foam? Oh heck, that sounds pretty lush. Oh, very heckin' nice. Very heckin' nice. Oh dear. I'm glad you had a heckin' good stream. Oh wait, look, this needs to go this way around, and then this side. Sorry, I'm getting a bit confused. Apologies. I'm gonna move this back while I do the pinning. So I can have this a bit higher up. Also, we're doing kind of a mukbang over here because we reached our most uh, recent goal for the charity stream. So there's lots of food on the screen, that's why. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Whilst in Ghostbuster cosplay. Oh, testing, if you need to get some sleep or some rest or some food or something, please do, please. I know what it's like after streaming where uh, you need to get some food and some, some extra energy and stuff like that if you need that please do like please don't let me hold you here thank you for the hecking horn oh dear <laughs> yeah and then that that's gonna be the front and then i'm gonna pin those together so that they can't move because otherwise these are gonna slip and slide around and that's no good. And there we go. So that should prevent those from sliding around. And then we need these on the back like this. So what we'll do is take the top one and then put it up there and take the bottom one and put it down here. and get them going across the top. So this will end up making the top and the back join. I hope that makes sense. But it will give us like a nice seamless top to back. And then we can start looking at doing like these some of the inside out bits. And we'll do the top one and then we'll do the side one because honestly, with this sort of fabric, it's quite difficult, and I don't want to be doing too much at once since it's just making my life more difficult trying to stack it up and be too efficient. So, do one thing at a time here. Yes. And I'm gonna go to a zigzag and zigzag will keep it stretchy. It's also easier to sew zigzag into mesh. There we go. 
and that'll attach these. It should have gone the whole way through, hopefully. And then the second one we need to do is the one at the side. So the side of the bra just over here. Again, might need to pin these together so they don't move. There we go. Uh, if I sleep, kids don't go to school. Oh, fair enough. Kids don't go to school today. Today's school can be about scavenging. <laughs> That's an important lesson, that is. Scavenging and, and ghost busting. Yes. And then we have the side piece there. And then we put these two pieces next to each other. Like so. One. And then we get the piece over the top. And go very nice. That. Wait, is it this one? No, it's not. No, that's the same one. Not that one. It's close, but that's not it. Not that one. It's this one. I knew it was a bit too wide. And then. Do a little pin in there. Oh, thank you for the egg. Uh, unfortunately, they all moved. Oh, it was so close. Try again. What if I pin through half of them? There you go, now half of them can't move. Oh, but it doesn't look quite right now. Get that down there, and then there's that. Who did the egg, by the way? Cyber. Fucking eggs. There we go. And this one here. And pull that. Do that. Does that look good? Is that about right? I think so. And then we can just take this up. And do another one just a little higher. I think it's about good. Right, let's have a look at this. And do another zigzag near the edge. There we go. And then Take that out around there, and that out around there, and that's one arm. Heck yeah. This isn't a bra. Just putting, okay, just for the sake of Twitch right now, this is not gonna be a bra. Definitely not. <laughs> Don't think of it like a bra. It's not a bra. This is gonna cover this area. It's not a bra. Definitely don't think of it like a bra gonna cover this hair <laughs> but don't think of it like a bra but it's gonna cover this hair <laughs> but it's not a bra it's like the top of a top there you go and it's stretchy it's not a bra <laughs> i just want to show you what i've been doing so you're not left in the dark it's like this there you go now you understand only because i know it's gonna look really small for a second like that looks tiny but it's not tiny because this is a really, really stretchy fabric. No TOS, no t it's not a bra, no TOS. It could only be TOS if it was a bra, which it's not. How can there be TOS when this is not, this is not a bra, right? Can't be, it's impossible. <laughs> oh dear. Impossible for TOS. I think. I think what I'm gonna do is actually have some lace around the neckline. I wonder if I have any red lace that I could put around the neckline. I might do that, but I will just quickly do the armholes. I just think 
that might be kind of cute, you know? Can I actually do this? I'm not sure. Probably. <laughs> oh dear. Dem. Oh, thank you for shouting out Dem. Oh yeah. I always just assume Dem's gonna shout themselves out, but like that's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh dear. If anyone's not checked out Dem, Dem first of all is the person that made the lovely dogs montage, but also Dem does their own streams. I think they have their first Booptober stream of the week day much much later in the day though so it won't it won't coincide with anything going on here so you can definitely check them out um i think it starts at like three <laughs> three a.m yes and then it goes on till like 8 a.m you've got plenty of time to catch it basically 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 you got time Ah, dear. There's a small part of me that's a little worried that what I'm doing here is literally just making like a bubble. I can actually turn it inside out to make sure I'm not doing that, huh? No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I was worried that I was just like sewing up the armhole <laughs> and making the armhole unusable. That's no good. I don't want to do that. Oh dear. That's not my intention. I don't want to sew up the armhole. Go and do that and then this and just keep it at one layer and, and then there we go and I want to trim some of this in a minute but that's okay we can get back to that confused again that's that side okay and this is this side so we've got one side of the arm now nice and neat and then this side of the arm I still want neat so you do it like the other side there you go wait a second yes sorry I got confused it's fine do not worry I, I get I've I'm a silly bean. I get confused sometimes, but it's okay. We'll work it out. There we go. This is now second arm. And this is nice because on this one I get to choose which way the, uh, the darts go. I'm thinking to have them facing down would look better. Yeah, that's my thought. My thought is they'd look better facing down. So I'm gonna have them pinned down. And then, go like that, yes. And there we go. should then be arm um, neat nothing in there I might want to see if I have some red lace which I do later but I would put it around the neckline so that we still have some red on the on the outfit ah see it's not as stretchy as I'd like it to be now around there will this still be okay I think it might be a bit small now I'm not sure I mean, I've got a jumper on but hmm is it still gonna be okay at that level of stretch oh yeah Oh, I say as I've like turned it into like an armband. I 
it could still be okay. It's, okay, I was worried it didn't stretch enough, but actually it still stretches quite a bit. Not as much as it originally did, but it still does. I was worried my zigzags might have ruined it, but they have not. Okay. There we go. And then we have to work on the other side of the bra. There we go. Oh, they've done it backwards. <laughs> I have, I've done it backwards. Oops. That's oh, fine. I just have to remember. Have, wait, can I actually do this the other way around? No, I can't. God damn it, me. Oh wait, it's okay, because I can just... Yes, I can just do this. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Better the other way around. No one will ever know. <laughs> be fine. This one can be either way around. Never shouted myself out. I have integrity. Skulls, how good? And I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. What you been up to? Ah, oh, dear. Sorry, I thought I made my bra the wrong way around, but it turns out I fixed it. The power of brain. And then this one will be on this side. Heck yeah. We got it. We got it. Ah, oh, dear. Yes. Ah, oh, dance. Thanks. Thank you for hanging out Skulls. Skulls is a very talented maker and crafter. They do some really awesome stuff. Mm. Heck yeah. Ah. Oh, I like this. This nice. The only thing I might have done is made the arm a little bigger. But, I don't know. We'll go with it for now. Ah, oh, dear. See a lot of boob shaped things in the background here. Bras! So many bras! But they're all kind of silly bras. But they're like pretty fun. I like them. This one I like. This one I like. This one I like. Yeah, I like them. Here's them another bra. Right, I need to get some white thread in here now because we're going to do the other side. And then we will end up merging the bra together. And then putting some. Actually, can I go see if I have any quick. Uh, red lace. I'll be back in just a second. I'm not gonna mute because I can't be asked. I'm gonna go see if I have some red cute stuff. Back in a second. <laughs> show you this um wait wait so my my jumper is static and there's clearly hair on the back of my chair and you can't see it no shoot so there's hairs on the back of my chair i'm gonna take a picture of this <laughs> it's kind of grim but i want i want photo evidence of what my chair is doing right now it looks like a jellyfish with tendrils oh my god Give me two seconds. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can even get it on camera. Because it's, it's hairs. They're all like standing there. They're all standing up. The hairs of my chair are blowing in the breeze. Oh, it's grim. <laughs> Perfect. I can freak people out with that later. Keeping it. <laughs> if you can't have fun with over the shoulder border holders, what's even the point? Exactly. <laughs> oh, what is even the point? Also, I found a red pretty thing. And honestly, it's kind of nice. It's not really floral. It's just uh, kind of like more geometric, which I think works for this. I can put this around the neck. So we still have like a pop of red. Ah, oh, dear. So I'll put that to one side for now. But now we need to refred to white. Oh my god. 
So funny. Yeah, my jump is really, really static. It creates static in everything. And <laughs> oh, good stuff. Right. There we go. Swaps. Bang. Uh, by the way, Jelly, I have COVID recovery update. Oh, have you? How are you doing? How's the tastes and the smells? Would you smell my sardines? Can you smell them from all the way over in America's? Uh, can the other side of the world smell my sardines? That'd be pretty rad. Oh. Mm. No, scold, no! <laughs> they are smelly. Oh dear. You're right, to be fair. They do smell. Ma <gasps> you could smell my shit. That's good to hear. I'm sorry, but that's good to hear. It's a shame you didn't get that, I guess, but also I'm glad. <laughs> oh, Zeus, that's the person who was expected to find kippers yesterday. Ooh, kippers. Ooh, fancy. Ah, oh, right, I'm gonna put the, the done one to one side for a second just so I can get these bits done. We're gonna start once again with the darts. Not super complicated, but I think just a second. I'm good to get them done first. Unless my machine decides that it doesn't want to thread anymore. Takes a minute longer. Good for Maya. How would you ensure the recovery is imminent? Yes. Maya is small, small Doctor Maya. Thank you. Maya's just being a good doctor, performing all the necessary tests. Right. Behave. Silly, that's I don't want to put it in my egg. Oh my god. Alright, who messed up this time? Alright, first of all, I can pull the thread straight out of you. My thread was bad. Look at that. Thread just comes straight out. Okay. I'll do it again. Because I can just hold it in place, but... I think it's my bobbin. Just looking at it. Yeah, it's my bobbin. But I did it that time, but I do need to fix my bobbin. Bobbin, what are you doing? Stop that. Thread, please. Normal. Oh dear, yeah, my bobbin was, uh, it was chunking up a little down there. That's, I guess, a nice thing about top loading is you can see it starting to be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's like, I can see you. I can, I'm watching you. Stop that. There we go. Oh dear, bobbin. Silly. Silly. Good on Maya for helping to restore the recovery of the A good dog, yes, 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 yes. Bad thread, very bad thread. It's it's also like I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching you do this. You're not being subtle. It's one thing to like just generally like you know mess up a little bit, but like I'm straight up watching you mess up right now. You're doing it right in front of me. <laughs> There's no subtlety. It's just like 
I'm watching you just slowly chunk up your Fred right in front of me. Stop that. Oh dear. Subtlety out the window, huh, machine? Huh? Didn't feel like it today? That's okay. I want to hold it against you. It's like a, a child throwing something on the floor and then looking at you and being like, oh, you were right there, huh? Wasn't me. I just watched you do it. Stop that. <laughs> you go. I, d I literally just watched you. None of this. Mm -mm. Not today. That's how I feel about this sewing machine sometimes. I, I love this sewing machine to pieces. I really do. But also, it throws plates on the floor, looks me in the eyes and tells me it wasn't it. And it's like, I, I, I just watched you do it. Now. Be a little bit more honest with me, please. If I watch you throw the plate on the floor and then you try to tell me that you didn't do it, I'm not having that. <laughs> oh dear. I know it was you. Oh. There you go. Are the lyrics of this song are, I just lost my wife? Ha ha! Is this the lyrics of this song? Because <laughs> we're getting a little confused. Um. Right, we need... Did I want to do that yet? I'm not sure. I line these next to each other. And these are inside out. I'm getting confused, I think. These are inside out, yes. Yes. <laughs> hmm. And then, which bit would go next to you? It would be you? On this side? No. Did I need these bits on the inside? I think that I did. That's okay. Let me unpick that. I think I needed something else on the inside here. That's okay. I think I forgot a layer. I think that's what happened. I'm getting confused. the back on the inside of the front maybe what is it the inside and the back of the front <laughs> I need one inside the other but I'm not exactly sure which one I need but then I need the other one facing the other way so I think I got these facing the wrong way for the way they're gonna go on the inside of something else yes good yes speaking mm -hmm. my first language is speaking actually yes I, pfft, you can tell, right? Mm. Oh god. Here we go. I, yeah, I think I know. Oh dear. Oh sorry, Cecilia. How goes it? I hope you're having a good day. Lucky, that's fine. I hope, you, I hope your work is going well. I hope your mood is good. I think it's going well. Heck yeah. Oh dear. Oh, and thank you for the luck, Sandman. I hope things go well. Take care of yourself. Oh dear, let's be here. I'm picking the things I'm making mistakes with. <laughs> okay, I think these actually need to go the right way round of each other. And then inside the things that are gonna go the wrong way of each other, which then is the next piece, I think. Please don't grab my sleeve. Yes, is then this piece. 
Yes. We got it. Stop grabbing me. So this then goes here, and the other white piece, which is slipping around up here, I need that <laughs> to... <laughs> and I need that to be like, uh... Oh no, uh, like this. On the back. Yes. And then go on to there. And then go on to there. And then go on to there. And then, oh my god, layers. <laughs> I think that's correct-ish. Except this one's a little bit all over the place, but that's okay. And then that's gonna sandwich it all in. Lovely. I think. And that's what I need to do. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Oh dear. It's a bit confusing, isn't it? Oh dear. Well, maybe it's just because I'm getting, I'm doing a few things, but... <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make it so all the seams stay hidden. I don't know how anyone does it. <laughs> well, people do do it, clearly, so there must be a, there must be a way. Oh dear. I'm back for a bit, so I have to do some work. I don't want to make phone calls right now, but I have to do whatever brings money red. I believe in you. And I hope things go well this uh, Friday, wasn't it? I'd rather be creative. You're trying to make a sandwich, so after you stitch all three, then you can open them up so it's layered back to single with the seam inside. That's basically it. That You got it, Skulls. You got it. Oh, dear. Bag it down, as they say. It's not all bad here. Just a very long list. Never mind, you got it. I know what I need to do. I just, I don't, you know when your brain's just like, derp, don't, nope. I, I know what I need to do, just nope. <laughs> it's just having a, a hard time processing it, you know? <laughs> I know what I need to do, I just can't do it. Uh, I did it on the other side, but then on this side it was just like, uh-uh. Not today, I'm afraid. You, listen, we did it once for you, we're not doing it again. Brain can only do thing one time. Again? No. Oh dear. Also, Tacky, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. I just posted a craft project. Oh, sick! Looking forward to seeing it. How's the poop total, poop total total going? Oh, I'm not sure. I'd have to check. I didn't get a chance to check this morning because I had some uh, some news that I have to deal with at some point. Um, oh dear. One of, one of those sort of mornings. Nothing very bad, just uh, a, a little, a little, uh, ugh. There we go, and then the last one. Sandwich. Sandwich. Uh, brain just go, nope. That's the default state of my brain. I, honestly, I think so too, for me. Because I'm, I, if I push it, I can do more, but like, that's it, it's a push. I have to push it to go further than nope. Otherwise, brain is just like, mm. I'm not really feeling this thinking thing. There we go, and I've got the side done. be able to do the little sleeves and then they should be in about the same state. Okay and then we pull this one forward and that's the front. Yay! Then we have the other front of the bra with the patterns on it. Heck yeah! So, I need to do the arm. Should end up looking like... This! With some red. Looking pretty cute! Oh dear. Get our pattern on. Oh dear. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Arm. Okay. Arm. Arm. Arm feelings. 
Let's do the side and then we'll do the other side. Actually, no, let's do the other side first because the other side's going to get more in the way. And. So, what we'll do is we'll just take this, uh, throw together the arm. Oh, is that the wrong arm? Can I pick up the wrong arm? Oh, it's, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> so this one should not have a dart on it. It's the back. And there we go. So get that, pull it over to here. And put a little whoop, whoop, pin in it. There you go. and then get these out a little bit more put that in there and hmm To there and then we'll fill in the middle space okay and then I might trim off some of the excess hopefully on all of it if I remember because there's a bit too much excess on all of it I think because when I fold it inside out you will see some of this especially on the white side that I've left quite big seat allowances, but that's okay. I did say as I was doing it, like, I don't know why I'm doing this. This is leaving extra work for myself, but that's okay. That's as we've done it. Okay. One side, and then let's do the others. Yeah. And then the other arm. So nice. Feel nice and stretchy. Oh dear. Ash, how good is it? I see it is safe. The manager isn't here today. Manager is not here today, but we do have some pretty cursed foods, to be honest. No manager, but yes, cursed foods. Although, I don't think they're cursed. <laughs> this is the thing, I keep saying they're cursed foods, but in my opinion, they're not that cursed. These are like just my, my general snacks. Just gen general snacks for me. Oh dear. I guess to me it's just a, a, ni a nice old stream of extra snacking. Which probably for me right now is not a bad thing since... Yeah. <laughs> She's on vacation. Again. <laughs> That's like a fifth vacation this year. Someone would, could put in a complaint about that really, except I wouldn't recommend it. Since, you know probably get fired if you complained about it so it's not really worth it but it is probably complaint worthy go On the extra fabric's getting caught, and just go all the way around the outside of that. Oh. There you go. Nice. 
and then just make sure the top as well. Bit of holder. Let me do a little bit there. I just go through that like that. No hole now. Okay. And then I can go back and trim off that excess. Oh dear. Well, I didn't want that bit going through. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to just trim that. It didn't get through and nobody saw it. sleeve two sleeves and we need to attach the back to the front the front to the back and then we have the base of the bralette where's the front of this one there it is so we need to attach the front and the back together yes oh dear how do we have cursed foods because we, we hit our 300 goal which was to do a mini cursed mukbang so yeah ah. Super hungry, I feel that. I get like that really easily too. Oh dear. Mmm. Right. Okay. This is a bit of tricky sewing. Once again. Because basically what we have to do is have one half of this here and then the other half come round to the other side. It's a bit annoying, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is pin half of it and then come back and pin the other half. need to pin these two pieces together first they're not always moving the constant movement does make it a little tricky there you go oh also can't have that getting attached okay half of this specifically round ignore all of this and go around to here and put it up to here it's like that that's why it's a little tricky and now get our fronts joined together nicely It's a bit of an awkward sandwich, but it should be worth it. And then we pinned it front to back, back to front. And I'm going to do it in white still, I think, because I don't want the black to show up on the white fabric. There we go. I'll do it with the zigzag still, of course. And we're going to go. should be that side now attached to there. Now we have hip down the center. 
I need to trim that centerpiece a bit so that you don't see the white fabric down it so much. But that's in there now. Oh dear. Heck yeah. Seems. Oh dear. And then I want to do the back the same way. The back is going to be even harder. Oh dear. I'm stuck in quarantine until the 15th till I can get a test on the 16th and I should have known one way or other Sunday whether or not I have to extend my quarantine. I have a dumb cough and I've travelled recently so I'm not allowed to go places. Oh no. Girl, I can know. My first test was a couple of days ago which was negative so it's probably just a cold. I just don't trust it. And since both my parents have lung issues I'm like nah, better not visit. Yeah, I think, I think that makes a lot of sense. I'm sorry that's happened though. That really heckin' sucks. Oh dear. I hope, I hope, I hope it is just like a cold and, and of course nothing comes of it. But I think, I think you're being very sensible. Oh dear. Ah, oh, what part of the bra is this? This is the face from Mirror's Edge bra. And right now we're kind of at the point where we're putting the whole bra together. So as far as what part of the bra this is, this is the majority of the bra now at this point. So this, we're looking, what we were looking at a second ago was the front of the bra. But the arms and stuff like that are all attached because this is more like a bralette style. I'm just trimming it down a little bit though. So I don't need all of that white inside, that's for sure. black too, which I don't think I need. So what we don't want is a big lump going down the centre of the bra, so I'm going to trim all the excess. There we go. Still a few pieces of excess I can see hanging off. That's better. Let's get that bit there. That's just a neatness thing, really. Uh, it would bother me, so. And then I will sew over that with black to keep it nice and flat, but I'm gonna wait till I change to the black thread again. And yeah, heckin' neat. So that's right there, what will be the front of our bra. And our two little armholes. <laughs> yeah. So one is black and the other half is the pattern thing? Yeah! It's like a bralette so it's like more, it's very stretchy. And that shows, and we're gonna have like a big black uh, band and then some lace going over the top. Heck yeah. I see now, yes, yeah, it's gonna be like an over the head one. Ah oh dear, right, let's get the back done. The same kind of thing with the back, but it's gonna be more difficult this time. <laughs> this time's gonna be real tricky. So what time are we doing? We're doing okay for time. Okay. And go. And that one there. So it can't move. And then, same thing as last time. Half of it. And put it across there. And then we'll pin half of it. And we'll come back for the other half. Go. piece here now needs to go 
This is kind of a ridiculous one, honestly. Come all the way around to here and pin onto this side. Okay, this one's difficult. Very difficult pin. It's like pinning a sausage roll. <laughs> Thank you for the egg. Oh dear. Oh. And I'll hydrate. I'll do that in just a second if that's okay. Just while I'm holding this, I'm going to pin it. I don't want to let go. If that is okay. And in there. And then your whole bralette is like a little sausage roll. <laughs> a teeny tiny sausage roll. And if you can't really let go. There it is. Oh dear, cool. That's my, that's my bralette. There it is. I'm going to sew that together while I've got it here. Tricky sewing. Hardcore. Maximum game difficulty. Engage. And then all up that little sausage and backwards forwards honestly before I even do anything I'm actually gonna trim it this time because it'd be easier before I do anything to trim it inside out oh I think that's a pin on the floor somewhere that's okay oh and that's now it's not got elastic at the bottom yet that is the shape of our bralette oh my god yes you know what it's not got any showing seams except for the top and the bottom where we'll be adding elastic and lace yes. <laughs> oh. i love it when a plan comes together and it's half and half yes very heck and stretchy this is very heck and stretchy but that's the back come like high like sports bra -ish. yeah yeah looks groovy thank you also i'll do my hydrate now Probably gonna add the band at the bottom first, I think. It's kind of what I'm feeling. So I'm gonna change the thread to black and I'll also do my top stitches at that point too. So I wanna do a little top stitch over the threads we just added, just so that they, they stay nice and firm. Any, any top stitches there? We're good, we're good. I can see a thread here, there it is. See a little thread. Where are those? We don't want them. Ah, oh, so heckin' groovy. Ah, oh dear. Right. Black thread again. Let's go! Honestly, just the no seams showing is so satisfying. I'm so, so satisfied by no seams. It's like, uh, it's extra effort to get it with no seams, but the satisfaction. It's there. No seams. Ugh. Because it'll be nice and comfy. No seams. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. I like that. I like that a lot. Also, if anyone's curious, I, I can... So you'd have to adapt this for different sizes, because bear in mind, I have a 28 back. But, um, I've, this is my pattern. I, I made this pattern. It's not based on anything. <laughs> It's not, it's not really based on anything. It's just based on, I, I make things for the top of bodies. And so I made this for me. Um, if, if you want, I can scan this into a computer, put it on the discord. You're gonna have to alter it for your own size. But 
If you want it as a base for things, I can do that. <laughs> and if anyone's a 28 back, it should be pretty, it should fit you pretty well. Because <laughs> it's very stretchy. It, I mean, I made this for very stretchy fabrics. So small boob, big boob. To, a, to an extent, this should work. do the same on the back as well. I don't mind too much on the sleeves but I really just want the the back and the front to be really nice and flat. So. I'm gonna have to do some trimming at the top here just so it's a little neater because <laughs> I didn't line everything up that good. But that's okay. You can do that like pretty easy. So, there you go. Good. Yes. And the bottom and the front. We'll need some trimming as well. That's okay. I'm just looking at them like next to each other to make sure that I trim them together because to an I do want them to be quite even. Honestly though, this one just really needs the lining trimmed, which is not bad. It's just so that when I add the the lace over the top, it's easier for me. if it's pretty close it's not far enough off that I think I have to do anything oh I say that actually this bit's a little bit off there we go that bit on there. there we go that's nice that's nice I should trim my hair <laughs> probably not the way that I'm doing it right but I feel like that about half the year. I feel like uh, what do you call it, Matrix? I I, <laughs> I like spend half the year like mm, I should really trim my hair. It'd probably look better if I just trimmed it, right? I should trim my hair, and then the other half I'm like, damn, I'm glad I trimmed my hair. <laughs> and then I'm back to man, I should really trim my hair. An endless loop of either having just trimmed my hair or needing to trim my hair. This is where I left this, the, the, the seam too long and it's showing, so I'm just gonna open that. There we go. Okay. There we go. Pretty easy to fix. And I think that's everything. Oh, some threads from that. Everything else lined up pretty good. Nice. Okay. Threads trimmed. Let's get on to the elastic. So I've actually already cut the elastic to what should be to around the size. And if it's not the size, then I'll stretch it so it's the size. So, yeah, cool. I did that ahead of time. This was easier for me. Um, I'll start that in the center, I think. Yes. I'm going to fold it. I might do it back to front, actually. So if I turn this inside out, whoop, 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 and kind of do it like fold over elastic, but, oh, would that look good, actually? Yeah, what am I talking about? Of course it would. Of course it would look good. So I'm gonna do like fold over elastic, but do it back to front. 
Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Would it look good? Of course it would. Of course it would. So like fold over, but back to front. Yes. And then just free up. And let's see. How long does this go for? Uh, pretty long. and get that all the way across to here actually I should probably burn the edge just a little bit go real burned edge there you go and this is the one that I oh yeah, a slight residue. That off my face. There you go. No residue on the bra. Thank you. And get that to there. Then we'll take this around and do the same thing on the other side. And put that there. Oh wait, am I putting it on the wrong side? I am. <laughs> I meant to be putting it on this side. Um, for some reason I've decided to put it on the other side. I'm not exactly sure why. Let me just fix that. Yes, pin backwards. Good. Oh dear. And then pin here. I don't know why I did that because I'm going to be sewing it on this side. ice cream for brekkie like an adult good adult decision heck yeah cheesecake as well good breakfast mm. ice cream cheesecake mm. they have similar vibes i think <gasps> oh dear are they good i mean maybe the vibe is breakfast maybe that's the good the same vibe that i'm thinking of the good breakfast those good breakfast vibes i lost a pin again there it is thank you Correct side, please. Oh, fire, fire! Throws the bucket. The fire! No, I like the fire. Keep it, keep it. We want that. That's it's useful. That's useful fire you're putting out there. No. It burns my elastic. Useful, useful fire. We want that. <laughs> oh dear. Good evening from the other side of the world! How good is it gone? I hope your day is going well! Oh dear. Gone, we are making a mirror's edge bralette. And so far it's been going pretty good. We're just putting in a... At the moment... Putting in an elastic waistband? Or bra band? I'm not sure what you'd call it, but it's elastic. I'm giving it a little stretch as I put it in. There we go. Nice. And I think the first thing I might do is potentially sew these two pieces together. dear yeah nice okay okay and then 
and just take this round like this. Get some stretch into the bra. And just keep going. Oh, sorry machine. Please forgive. <laughs> oh dear. Making the machine do things it hates again. Sorry machine. take the sleeve attachment off and that might make this quite easier but I'm lazy and I don't fancy it. <laughs> Go! Go and just keep that on there. Keep the stretch going around. And just keep going. Ow. Is it pinned on the other side? That is. Head out there. Oh, no one was getting stuck. There we go. Very nice. First, and then we fold it over. Ah oh dear. Um, I have that little band at the bottom peeking out, but it'll be a bit of subtle. A bit of subtle. Ah. There we go. Oh dear. I have to explain the fire again at some point. Probably missed the explanation. My, uh, oh, it's because I have to burn the elastic a little bit so that it doesn't fray. Yes. Burn the elastic so it doesn't fray. Oh, so there we go. We have a waistband. Could be whip whip whip. Just pokes out a little bit at the bottom. Subtle. Oh, I'm gonna have to try that. Oh, rice for breakfast. Oh, my breakfast is already heavy as had to rice. But lunchtime has to be Doritos. Heck yeah. Have a good jolly day. Yeah. So the look of the ground makes poof sound effects and throws flowers to distract people. Not necessarily in the right order, but totally a ninja exit. Yeah, my day. So quite jolly. Had a good conversation with my boss. Almost forgot to go home. Oh, nice. I'm glad it was a good day. Oh, right, I need to sew a second row of stitches now, which I, I might just take the attachment off. Heck, let's just make my life easy, shall we? Why not? Why not? Let's make my life easy. The reason is because it means I can slip it over like that. So this one is now just to attach it to stop it from folding back over again. And it keeps the elastic held in place. but it was right near the end so it's okay and that is a heckin elastic band nice elastic waistband inserted right now I can change my bobbin to red and we're gonna do the, the neckline there we go Ooh. oh 
god damn machine can easily pull apart my brain what impossible no way no way <laughs> oh dear the theme of the project today is mirror's edge faith so faith is main character from mirror's edge and that's what today's bra is based on huh Heck yeah so it's got her tattoo as part of the bra. We made a custom fabric for this one. Pretty cool, huh? Custom fabric and everything. It's very nearly finished this bra, to be honest. We just need some of the lace around the neck. Cause this one is a bit more, this one's not like a wired bra with uh, pads or anything. It's like more of a bralette style. Like comfy under clothing and stuff. Yeah, it's more like that. Right, we're gonna change the settings a little bit, do a wider zigzag. Just to make sure that we hit all the mesh here. Again. Again. Just with any of this. See how it's going. And then if it looks like any of the linings like moved at all, I'm just gonna go in and sniff it. Because it will mean that this bit will be a little more difficult if it's not lined up. snipped up there we go oh I just searched up damn yeah mirror's edge is a very stylish game reds blacks and whites so I tried to make a little bralette to, to uh, mimic that but I didn't want it to be like really really I wanted it still to feel feminine you know so here we are with the face bra. Hopefully it still feels feminine. Okay. And this is a stretch lace, just to confirm, so that, you know, I want this to be able to be pulled over the head, so it still needs to be stretchy. And this, this is a stretch lace. So hopefully you should still be able to pull this over your head. that in and then we're gonna do the other side I'm gonna put the, this the bottom back on again I don't think having that off is gonna help me right now there you go there we go Cresso how goes it Jella I hope you're having a good day have you played it though the game is filled with red blue and yellow really obvious for players when they go through it yes so I've not played a lot of it um, I live with someone who literally is obsessed with it though so I have not played a lot I've played some of it they have like the collector's edition, they have the statue, they have the box, they have literally everything Mirror's Edge. They have custom Mirror's Edge wallets, like handmade. Um, so like, <laughs> you know, I might have only played a bit of Mirror's Edge, but <laughs> I live surrounded by Mirror's Edge. I live with someone who, who like Mirror's Edge is like, for me, it's like Final Fantasy IX, right? For them, it's Mirror's Edge, you know? That's their game. Oh, sorry, the pin came out. I just need to redo that. 
Like they've spent hundreds of pounds on their Adagio merch, I think. <laughs> oh dear. But again, like that's that's it for them. Ah. Uh. What's the theme for today's? Well, if you couldn't tell from everything I just said, which I might have accidentally answered it, Mirror's Edge, Faith. <laughs> I might have accidentally just answered. I'm sorry. It's Mirror's Edge. It's Faith, who is the main character, or I guess protagonist from Mirror's Edge. Yes. So we have her tattoo as um, like the custom fabric, and we're using the predominant colours, which are red, black, and white. Most of the gameplay, yes. It's a very heck and stylish game. Oh, that pin came out. No. Put, put this down and then fix that. What happened here? It's okay if the pin's not in it, but I need to know where to go. You know? I think out of all the games I've not played but know about, it's probably Mirror's Edge's the No, Mirror's Edge and Borderlands. I, that being said, I have played Borderlands. It's just, comparatively the amount I've played to the amount that I know about Borderlands, it's not comparable. <laughs> I know a lot about um, Borderlands, but I've not actually played as much. But you know when you know people that just, they are so into that game or that franchise and you just end up knowing so much about it because of that? Mirror's Edge and Borderlands would be those ones for me. I have some people that really, in my life, that really, really love those games. <laughs> and so I've, I've by proxy learned a lot about them. <laughs> uh, I kind of love it though. I, I love passionate people. I think passionate people are amazing, so... It, it's not a bad thing, I don't think. As long as it's a, a reasonable time for me to listen to it, I think it's fine. There we go. Do that, but then the opposite. Not even useful information half the time, I don't think. I feel like I know a lot of useless trivia about those games. <laughs> like, you could ask me, like, what's this character? And I'd be like, I don't know. And then you, a random useless trivia comes out all the time about those games. <sighs> I don't know. Dear <sighs> uh... me. Faith's shoes and outfit, very badass. Them jackets are so, my god, I just, it is, right? It's a very cool, very cool character design Faith has. Very hecking cool. Very hecking cool. Oh dear. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, she's very hecking cool. Like when I was picking women for like notable women from video games, I know Faith is probably one of the least, no, she probably is the least known woman on the list. But she's so stylish, I was like, I can't miss her out. She's She's got so much heckin' style. And she's very cool. I don't know. I can't skip her. She's so cool. There's no skipping Faith. Like, you know, comparatively to characters like Lara Croft. Lara Croft is kind of very well known. Like, even outside of gaming, right? Doesn't really feel very fair. But Faith just is so stylish. Like, Lara Croft is fine, but the style on Faith, mm, another level. I mean, I know they come from different eras, but. get that in there and then let's trim this off there you go 
And then we get that the whole way up the neck. We got that pop of red. And also makes it feel a little bit more feminine. Yeah. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. And all the way up. Make sure the pins stay in because it's very stretchy here. Oh, make sure the pins stay in and the bobbin is being good. Bobbin's not being good right now. My bobbin decided to act up, sorry. I was having to, to carefully weave my fabric out of that one. <sighs> it's the stretchy fabric, it means sometimes I think it doesn't realise that it's sewing something. It's like, uh, are you just stitching me through nothing? And it's like, no, no, I, there is a fabric there. I just need you to realise there's a fabric there and, and actually sew it. <laughs> oh dear. Once, it's, once it realises it's fine, it just takes a minute sometimes, I think. Oi. Oh, that's a pin. Cool. Where'd that come from, huh? What part, what part of my project did that come from, huh? Hey. Okay. I'm gonna take that pin and put it here because I'm sure I'm gonna need it in a minute. Because I've probably fallen off something that I needed on. <laughs> Was it right at the back for chance? I don't know. Maybe I'll get around and just not notice. Maybe I overpinned it. Said me never, but you know. <laughs> we live in hope. Oh, you said that actually. I'm getting the whole way around. pink come from jeez and then I just need to join these up at the front with a little hand stitching and yeah I could even put like a little gem there if I wanted do I wanna I don't know if I wanna that might be a bit too girly I might just join them up <laughs> I don't want to go too too much into that I already have red thread so <laughs> oh dear Lara have outfit of hikers or savannah. Yeah, I know. It's like meh, meh. Ah, uh, did you mean jelly flesh? Oh, also thank you for the hydrate. Tea time. There is red. News would be very me. Yeah, a very you bra. Let me just get that last bit stitched in so it's nice and neat. And then I think we just need to trim threads and be done. So this bit at the front. Just making sure the doodle stays neat. Yeah. And that. And then we'll go the whole way up and just make sure that stays like that regardless of what part of the lace. I made this mistake where I've not put a couple of stitches in the lace before and it flips up very easily. The best just to put some stitches in it now and not have that issue later on. I technically could do this with the machine, but eh. it probably is quicker for me just to do it like by hand, honestly. Especially since I already have the, the red thread to hand. In there. 
There we go. Nice, nice. And just go through the back. Now that I've done that, I can take this and do a little knot. And those will stay together nicely. And yes. Now it is just thread trimming time. Which we've got a few of to be fair. Couple in the middle, I think. Here is it? And there. And then the back. I've got a couple too. There we go. One there, one there. One there. And that one to there. Nice. I think it's just then the back threads here. Yep. Ones. Very nice. That stretch in there. Got the around the neck. Zigzag. Very heckin' nice. It's a heckin' bralette. It's cute. It's very heckin' cute. I love it. Oh dear. That is our. Oh. A little heckin' bralette. I might trim off some of the excess, but I I'd go back and do that later once I tried it on, make sure it fit. So, that's fine. And there isn't too much excess anyway. I say as I find another heckin' thread. Another heck. oh that's my scissors, don't put them in the bin. <sighs> heckin' cute. Heckin' cute. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> and I honestly... Comparatively, considering that we we did run out of, well, I say we ran out of the shops ran out of red elastic. It's not that far from the original. It's pretty close. We got our more sporty style. We got our red. It's just not in the same place. It's pretty similar, I think. I mean, I'm happy with it. I'm happy how, with how similar it is. I think it's pretty cute. Heck yeah, it's just like a little little crop top style one. I think it's pretty cute. I like it. But yeah. <laughs> a slightly more covered bra. Less sexy, more covered. There's the back, by the way. I don't know if I showed you that. The back. Kind of comes in a little bit racer-ish, but not exactly. It's like a little bit racer. Yeah. Pretty good. I like it. And on the inside, it's got all those nice seams. Covered. Smooth. Heck yeah. Oh dear, super cool cutie pie, hi! It is right at the end of the stream, but I appreciate you popping by. <laughs> How's it going? I hope you're having a good day. I'm actually just about to find out who is next on the heckin' heckin' booptober, on the booptober list. Let's have a look-see. Uh, do-do-do-do-do. Ba-ba, ba-ba, ba-ba. Let's see. Hmm. So my Google is slow. <laughs> so Asylum is meant to be starting at four. But I don't see anyone. So let's just see if there's anyone in my following that I know is taking part in Booptober. That might be a good call. What the, the, the. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Ah, doesn't look like it. I mean, there's a few people here that I really like that I can still send you all over to. We can still do a heckin' good raid. Yeah, I've been lurking the roads. Just pop up and say hi, I've been lurking for a bit. I'll go back to lurking, that's fine. Oh, Zero, take care of yourself. I hope you feel better tomorrow. Sorry to hear that. Please, please look after yourself. Look, yeah, so, sorry to hear that you've not been doing so good. Yeah, look, look after yourself. Oh dear, feel better soon. Uh, let's, let's send you all over. To eeny meeny miny mo, God, there's a few people. Heck, I always get lost when there's several people that I could raid. Let's do. Hmm. Let's go to a cross stitch stream. How about that? That sounds nice. We'll send you all over to a cross stitch theme. So we're gonna raid Malachaos Witch, who is doing 
a beginner cross stitching stream. I think that sounds lovely. Heck yeah, we'll all go over to there. That sounds pretty damn chill. I think that sounds a nice way to spend the rest of the day. Let's go do that. Right, I'll get the raid set up. Don't look at my keyboard, it doesn't exist. And I'll, I'll plead ignorance. <laughs> I'll plead ignorance if anyone does, does mention it. There you go. Oh, thank you for stream. Thank you, no, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Um, right, we're gonna set up this raid. If you would like a raid call, there is one of them. Uh, there is the other one. Oh my god, that's record time for me. Please do grab a raid call if you would like them. We are pink at the moment, which means we can spread all the pink love all over Twitch for Boobtober. Please feel free to grab one if you fancy it. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you, George. Oh, wait. And cutie, thank you so much for hacking subbing. That's very hacking kind of you. Jesus Christ, cutie. That's very sweet. Oh my God, and you survived. And you pushed somebody else out of the of the heckin', heckin' bye. <laughs> oh, geez, that's very heckin' kind. And thank you for shouting out Dem. We have wonderful mods taking care of this stream. We have Dem, we have Zero, we have Shifty. Dem and Shifty both stream themselves. They do fantastic streams over on their own channels. They're really, really sweet beans and they're both supporting Boobtober as well. We also have Cutie just popped in who's also supporting Boobtober and George who is also supporting Boobtober, all of which do wonderful streams and I think everyone does different things on their own channel. So, there's a menagerie of people you can check out there and Unpredictable who's also doing Boobtober who does different things again. Um, basically, there's lots of people you can check out and definitely do it and I don't have very much time left. Oh shoot. Well, uh, have a lovely rest of your day. Grab Raid Cool. Send love. Yes. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Enjoy your day. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Ja, ja, ja. <laughs>